my god, I can I can sell. Oh my god! Look how cool this is! Are these cars moving between? The captain is dead! Long live the captain! Is this going to be my new city? Oh, scraping the barrel. It's not good that the first mission is already scraping the barrel here. Cole is running out. The captain is dead. As he weakened, growing division brought city maintenance to a grinding halt now. New London is left to suffer the consequences. As Stuart, it is your charge to lead, but you must prove yourself. The overcrowded city is low on resources. Use this warmer year to build more shelter, secure coal, and power the generators on. Let's get to work. Why, hello everybody, my name is Threatex, and welcome back to Frostpunk 2. I've had a quick look before starting this mission, and I could not wait to dive into it, because this, everybody, is New London. I think this is literally the original generator from Frostpunk 1, the one that kept us alive all those years ago. It's still in there, but it's not exactly looking very healthy here. It's literally turned off, nothing's going on. This entire city is covered in snow and there's a complete cluster of issues here. We have no fuel, we have no housing, food, goods. No one has an iPad in this territory, no one at all. It's absolutely horrific. So we're gonna see if we can start building this place up. Now, the size of this map is just astronomical compared to the last episode. If I look at this Frostbake area, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to handle right now, and there is stuff all over the map. So our very first mission is going to be to go and collect ourselves some coal to turn on the central generator to keep us all alive here. Now, I was having a quick look around. There are some, some coal over here, and something I found quite interesting. There are resources which are literally infinite. This one here, deep frozen forest, 100 million materials are in that location. I'm just going to go from this. I think this map is going to take us a while to finish. I think it's going to be a uh, the full mission. I don't know how long it's going to last, but we're going to be here for a while to say the least. So I'm going to be building up, at least for now, towards the coal. So I was trying to think of how to do this, because unlike the last mission, the districts are a lot different. They're bigger, they last longer, you can build them over multiple deposits. It's a different affair altogether. So if I, for now, try and just move forward towards this location here, uh, let's get a bit more when it comes to breaking, because the things are bigger, we want more surface area. So for now, we'll grab these two core deposits. And I think I'm going to do a second frostbite or frost break over here because there's a really large area of materials I want to try and grab in the future so we we'll grab these things like so and without the way we're going to start building up the economy because right now we have literally nothing I'm going to remain paused by the way because I said this last episode I am playing on the highest difficulty I do not want to waste time just sat around umming and ahhing if there's something I need to be doing more imminently with the time I have so I'm going to build some food districts for now we have a negative 129 food, but if I build one right away, it will last for like 60, 70 odd weeks. We've got some time before things go awry there. So if I plop down a triple food district, this doesn't unfortunately triple the amount of you gather at a time, but it does mean this will last for literally like years gathering resources. So plop that down. It's gonna be a bit awkward. I, I found a thing I wanna try and do but it's going to be awkward doing it at the same time. So I'm going to put this like so. You're thinking, why are you like randomly etching it towards this way? There's a reason for this. We'll see it in a second. So that's the first food district sorted out. And we also want to put down some housing as well. Now, I've got to be very careful at the start of the game because I didn't realize this until I was having a look around earlier. Our food and our heat stamp income is abysmal. It's only got six a week, <laughs> which is really, really bad. And it says we need to get ourselves, well, we can make more money if we get goods in circulation, which is this new district here, industrial. 
Now, I didn't realize it originally, but apparently this thing can make prefabs, which we need to build stuff, and it can also make goods. I don't know how that works, maybe they press a button or something, but we'll build one of those shortly. And we've also got logistics as well, which I think you build on one of these edge locations to send out expeditions to the rest of the map. Now, if I know anything from Frostpunk 1, expeditions could save your game easily. You could find crazy artifacts, get loads of resources, more population. It's probably worth trying to do that sooner rather than later. At least, that's what I think so far. So, uh, with my ramblings over there, let's build some housing. So, as we discovered last episode, if we try and build the housing... Wait a second. Interesting. Ooh. If we try and build the housing next to each other so we can get double heat bonuses, we will probably reduce the heat cost to zero if we're lucky here. So this canyon actually has six slots. I'm actually going to use the first three for the first village. And we just put them like so. And I'll build another one right away. And it's going to cut around the edge here. So this should, in theory, give us the both benefits. And we have literally just removed the issue with um, housing completely when it comes to heat. So this is where it gets a bit awkward. I want to construct an industrial district. I realize that if I want to get these bonuses, there's actually a debuff now. If I build too close to another location, like the housing district, I will spawn in squalor, which is really bad. <laughs> but at the same time, I will get reduced heat, which is really, really handy. So I want to kind of put these things down in a way that I can get bonuses from each district while also not causing any squalor or disease on nearby locations. So what we're going to do for this, let me get rid of these for a second. Goodbye. I'm going to put it like this. And I got one more slot. I'll put it in the middle. That should do for now. So you're thinking you're not got the heat one, right? What I'll do when I put down the extra housing district below, it would actually curl up around and we should get the benefit pretty much instantly solving our problem here. So I will do that now. And do we have enough resources to build a housing district? 40 heat stamps. We do. Let's do the other one right away then. So that's bad if I do that. I will have a problem. So I have to put this out the other way. So this means I have a heat I have a housing district with plus 20 heat times two. And it provides Oh wait. Is it not providing the benefit to this housing district? I think it's probably best to wait and see what happens when it's fully finished. If it doesn't, I might have to jig it around a little bit later on. Okay, housing completed. Excellent. So, what now? Industries down and down. Food district. Let's build a second one of these, I think. Actually, do you know what? Let's not. Let's not do that yet. I don't want to go too crazy. If I just spend resources quickly on something I'm not aware of, it might cause a problem. So for now, we're going to leave this construction be, and we're going to see what happens with the game. Now, this is really cool, because as soon as I put these things down, check this out. The game is putting down loads of, like, pathways. It's constructing everything nearby. I mean, this bit here looks absolutely epic. I think having the housing on either side of the canyon makes it look even cooler here. So there's not really too much I can do right now. Hmm, wait a second. I guess the main issue is going to be, where do I, if I fix my problems, get to the edge of the map? Cross-breaking wise, I think this way probably makes the most sense, right? I can get, get the coal locked in, and I can get towards this station over here. So once that frost break's finished, I'll do another one, and we'll start just carving our way towards the edge of the map there. I presume, as there's three different markers, I can eventually have three separate expeditions. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll probably figure it out as we play the game more. Uh, let's build like so. I was trying to think what to do here. I, I think what we might do. I'm probably going to put down three separate coal mines. So I have one here. One here. And the other one can be here. Just so we have different sources. So we can really push through the coal quickly. And also not be too greedy at the same time. So. Oh, we can go up here. Interesting. I will plop it down. One, two, three, four. Here, I guess. 
Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that works. Looking good. So let's get a material post down now because we got this guy's gonna make prefabs. We need to get actual materials, which we need to produce all the goods and stuff. So we've plopped down a massive district here. Not exactly the best looking thing in the world, but <laughs> it's definitely gonna work. Or do I want to have separate ones again? No, I think we have a very long standing settlement here to produce long term materials for the cause. Because only one of those extraction districts creates 200 materials. Or 150. I'm not sure why that's got it there twice, but it does something. How's it looking, guys? We're about to mash finish every construction I got going on here. Joe, I completely forgot about this. It completely just skipped my mind. So I was trying to figure out a way I can build this district and also get the heat uh, buff for it later on. Maybe if I do it like this for now, we can figure it out in the future. Okay, confirm. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Whoa, look at this thing. Are these cars? What's happening here? I think we made... Have we got like steampunk cars? That's pretty awesome. And it looks like every district has a giant generator in it, which I think is absolutely awesome here. So, we're... Oh, it's just... What are these called? Striders? Used to get them with relics and last game. They used to be really, really powerful. So... Production. Produce goods. Nice. Because we are, for now, generating prefabs from this location from the ground here. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, good production. Not enough, though. But it might... Yeah, stable crime. It looks like for now we've stopped anything from growing apart from the cold. That's awesome so far. So these bases... Let me just double check something. They produce zero heat, which is good. And this guy also uses zero heat. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love it. So it seems then... Hmm. So can I... So I'm trying to think here. My brain, brain's chugging along here. Can I produce an extra housing district somewhere which will have zero heat? Because if I can make it into some crazy connection of different districts with zero heat and no downsides, that'd be really cool. We'll think about it every time though. For now though, let's get this finished off. So it looks like the frost breaking's finished. Get that built there. So that's enough for the actual structure to get put down. Uh, what is this? Heat. Oh, what's this? Ex oh! What? Some of them are different. Some of them are exposed to wind instead of being hidden. Would that... Maybe is there like power generation of like wind farm or something at some point? That could be handy, but it's a bit strange. Okay, let's just carve our way towards that point there. Wait a second, have I gone like a... Who's building a road across the entire map to get over to this <laughs> plateau here? Maybe my um, random selections aren't the best idea. Oh, look at this. I gotta say, I got wait. Is the game pause? No, it's okay. Developers, why is there no hide UI button in this game? I was trying to make a screenshot for the first episode, like a few hours ago, before recording this. I could not take a screenshot of my beautiful village I made without the UI being everywhere. Please add a UI hide button. It would make the game so much better. One small button makes it way better for people that want to take screenshots or do thumbnails. Okay, how we're looking. Oh, I'm liking this. So, can we actually see people walk along these roads? Oh! I don't know why if I click on it, they teleport away. Oh, I turned it around? <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening there. It's a bit strange, but it is what it is. 150. So, let me just double check something for a second. So, two coal mines will heat our entire village for now. We should probably put down some more housing then if we're waiting. Let's put down some housing here. 
So, how do I want to do this? If at all possible, we want them to be connected up to get the bonuses, right? So I'm actually going to carve a path through the middle here. So we have more room to play with when it comes to connecting up these two locations. And then I'll come back and look at it a bit later. And also, I think I might do the same here as well. I know I'm going through a lot of heat stamps, so I probably should calm down a bit. Oh, is it ready? Yes, okay. Activate the generator. Let's zoom in a little bit. Good work, Sheward. We have secured our new coal deposits. It's part of the last vein in New London. There are still some deposits left, but they will not last long. We need to improve our mining to use it efficiently, but the city's communities are voicing different ideas about how to do it. Oh no, politics. <laughs> we decide which ideas are worth. Okay. Is that these guys down here? So we have Frostlanders, Faith Keepers, and Londoners. Oh, they're gonna just... <laughs> the road men, they just go around attacking people for no reason after their football game loses uh, a match. Okay, so looking good so far. Okay, everybody, I've made a mistake. So I thought I was being really clever here by having such districts being close to each other. I was going to double dip with the housing. So what I was going to do, I'll show you in a second. I was going to build some housing to try and get benefits from both districts and getting my bonuses going. They don't count as the same thing, so I can't do that. Super annoying. So we got to try and do plan B instead. Um, I'm going to have to just forego having all these guys having reduced heat for now. And just try and have the housing be good enough anyway. Good news is though, for these housing districts or the extractor districts, they only use 20 heat anyway. So a single housing district here will remove all heat costs completely. So that's pretty handy. Now I've got to be very careful here though. Because if I try and fill in the shelter from wind buff, I get squalor. Which I don't want to get. So instead, we're going to do some weird voodoo magic. And I'm going to build it off to the side like so. Yeah, so this way I get the heat from the shelter. And also, I give the heat to the district over there. So that should work out for now. I'm getting a bit worried, by the way, because this is ticking up the tension. People are getting pissed off with me. I'm a terrible captain. They want to have a new guy in charge. So i got to try and get rid of this cold severe, which is being increased exclusively by the shelter issue. So I'm going to spend all my resources on trying to get that sorted out as soon as possible. Now, same thing as before. If I go around the corner here, I can double dip, spin around the corner and get the bonuses to everything I need nearby. So we do that right away and sorted. So after those two are finished, we will still not have enough housing to grow population, but it will significantly reduce the issue by, what, 40. So hopefully that means it will reduce the severe cold and we can maybe hang in there a bit longer. Now, the next problem is going to be very obvious here. We do not have enough heat stamps. It's awful. I presume to get this to sort out, I need to build the research institute which requires a lot of heat stamps in itself. Now, I think to do this, I need to expand out a district to build inside it. So that's awkward because I've spent so much money on workforce and stuff. I don't think we can technically do that right now. I think it costs 50 heat stamps. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, B. I guess what we do then. For now, I have two options. I think I should expand one of these districts out to make them a bit bigger and then i put down the institute as far as i know you have to build these inside an expanded district so we have to do it at least once i also in theory could use the workforce to produce a second industrial district over here actually i can't do that i've got enough workforce to make enough goods to increase my income by plus two but that's not really enough that's that's too slow it's not going to work out very well uh, what's this People gather around the generator tower as it wakes with a thundering shudder and bestows heat on us yet again. This is the heart of the city, our last line of defense against the cold, our first hope for a future. Stuart, there's a couple who says their first child, a daughter was born at the exact moment the generator sprang to life again. They call her Lily May. They ask that you can bless her. Ooh, okay. You gave us hope back thanks to you. Our child may yet have a future ahead of her. 
How do I bless her? That's that's my question. Um, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'll throw some snow on her. That, that'd be it. Cool. Looking pretty good. So, saving up then. We need to get a hundred more heat stamps, and then we can sort out the research district. So for now, let's expand this out. I didn't realize when I was uh, putting these building guns originally that expansion was a thing. I remember it being in the game, but I just completely forgot about it. I need to... Let's put that for there for now. Be careful, because if I have all my districts really close and I can't span them out, they're not going to be as efficient, I think, in the long run. So we'll try and balance things out as I learn more about the game. But hopefully we can survive this all deal together. Okay, one housing's done. Diminishing to cold. But disease is growing. Oh, because of the cold. Hmm. I mean, good news is... We never nick it to 20 in a second. And we've also got an expanding district over here. How much does it expand it by? Is it a lot? Um, it doesn't actually say what this technically does. We'll come back in a second and see what the modifier is. Wait, why are they red? What is happening? No, that, they have changed the color to red, right? Is that because of the tension, maybe? Severe tension. Oh, no. <laughs> At least it's pretty hard to ignore people that are pissed off that they color all their houses into red and stuff, but I guess it is what it is. Oh, wait a second. Ah. So this now has a plus five from being expanded. Not very cost efficient there, but at least we can build a building here, right? So I guess for now we're just waiting then. Until we get the heat stamps required. Not much really more we can do here. Oh wait, is that, I think possibly... Relations. Neutral. 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 I think I was... I saw earlier, if I press T as a tutorial, I haven't read through much of this, but I am trying to play well, so I've looked at a little bit. You can actually raise runs um, from them by requesting stuff. So to speed up the game, we could potentially just ask them for some heat stamps. So I think we'd do that. It says greatly worsen. Can we just ask for like a little bit of fun? <laughs> Oh, no, they're going to be pissed if I do this, aren't they? Is this worth it, or do I just, she just wait for a few weeks? For now, let's just wait. What is this? Praying to the generator. Deacon. Oh, no. Okay, wait. <clears throat> oh, holy generator, provide and sustainer, our light, our heart, our shining beacon. Hear our prayer. Make us instruments of your light. That we may fill the hearts of our flock with your radiance and forever fight against the cold of the frost. May you forever warm our paths. The generator is revered and beloved by the faith keepers. Interesting. Um, I'm probably not going to promote that faction. Not going to pretend otherwise. <laughs> I think it's best if we do not pretend the generator is some kind of god and we know that it works by putting coal in it. Because that's pretty important if you ask me. Speaking of money, we've got another few weeks left and we can hopefully smash out then getting the research lab going. I'm kind of thinking, should I just spend the money? But as I've already waited this long, I guess it just is what it is at this point. So I guess we have to build the upgrade over here with our expanded building. Does it kind of plop down inside the hexes or does it appear nearby? Oh, wait, what? Do I not get paid that week? <laughs> I've been scammed. There you go. Oh, the workers. I forgot. Uh, let's reduce you down a little bit. Perfect. More than enough. It just goes on it. Okay. And just to confirm, I cannot put any buildings in a place without an expansion. Perfect. So that's working out now. The good news is, everybody, because I have got more housing, it looks like our population is starting to grow. It does say progress plus 17, so it's not like a tick time where it goes up all the time. It seems to be spread out a little bit. So, interesting to see what happens when that fills up to 100%. Okay, 
people seem a lot happier now. Like, the colors have gone down very yellow, and there's pretty much no tension. Like, everyone's very happy. Now, there is a still some problems with shelter, but what I'll do, when I can afford it, I will put down an additional city so we can go from there. Good news is, though, the research lab is completed. Very cool. So what does this actually do? Oh, I can't click on it individually. It's just there. Fair enough. A small crowd gathers outside the new research institute, arguing about how to exploit the last coal vein. The faith keepers and new Londoners want us to lean on machine-powered mining. Oh, I'm surprised the faith keepers believe in machines. Uh, but the Frostlanders would have us pursue a more frugal solution. They would never display such discord under the captain's rule. You had to choose who to entrust with developing their ideas. So we have to make a choice then. Let's have a good look. Uh, we need new ideas to move forward. However, different communities may propose diverging answers to the same issue. They will only pursue solutions that align with their worldview. Choosing a community to develop an idea will improve relations with them. Okay, I see. So, oh, this is... Look how cool this looks. Heating, resources, frostland, city, society, and hubs. Whoa. Oh my god, I will create the next English Empire if I am allowed to in this game. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So, coal mines. We need more heat stamps, of course I do. Interesting. So, Frostlanders would... Mining operations where residue coal dust is sucked up and compressed into uh, burquettes to maximize use of resources. Wait, how does this work? Sorry. So these two have the same idea. These two want to have a blasting coal mine, which uses different resources. So this one is more worker heavy. It's slower, but it uses less materials. So you're effectively maintaining your existing materials for longer. Where this one's the opposite. This one uses vastly more materials, but slightly less workers. So as I already want to play the game with like having everyone being happy, I would presume I would have a lot of population. So I'm going to go for this one instead. Uh, which means we're going to increase the relationship with the Frostlanders. So to speed things up here, 50... Let's have a look. Okay, I'm just going to do it right now. Screw it. Stuart. This might not work, but I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to raise funds. Which has affected my relationship with them. I'm going to offset that immediately by researching what they wanted. I don't know, is that a good idea? <laughs> we'll see later on. So that's sorted out now. And we can probably put stuff back to where it was. Keep your face and ears covered. 200 workers required. Okay, I'm going to reduce that more. I'm going to get an extra house now. So I really want to get the population growing so we can have more workers normally. Uh, the question is, where do we put these workers? So we've unfortunately already used up the very easy to use hidden bits down there. I get... Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening over here? Stable crevasse. 10 plus 10 shelter plus 20 heat. That is the answer to my prayers, everybody. This is what we need. So if I jump over there, then. I'll grab all this. Wait, what's this? Wait, what? Why is it saying frozen forest? <laughs> That's probably a bug. We're in all that for now. It's fine. Uh, okay, so we're going to grab that for now. We're expand out this way if we can. Wait, let me have a quick look. Zoom in. One, two, three. If I put a bit of housing there. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's not close enough. I was hoping I can maybe get away with having that buff to reduce the housing cost over here. But 
it's okay. Two, three. And she has to go this way. Nice. Done. Cool. I'll build the next housing over there. Because also, if it's more efficient anyway, that's really handy. Is there any more of those around the map? Can't tell right now. No. Unfortunately, I can't see the building areas unless I'm actually building something. So, I guess it is what it is. I'm kind of curious then. So, it looks like these new buildings need to literally be put down. So, I guess it's going to unlock a new upgrade for the buildings tab, I guess. Interesting. So if I put it down, will that reduce the material cost to 20? Or will it increase it to 70? We'll have to wait until the technology is finished. Have a look there. Okay, that's finished. Housing districts. Uh, one, two, three. So the good news I would say then is even though this housing district's a bit limited right now, In the future, if we expand it out, we can get that big modifier for these guys. So this will be reducing heat in the long run. Uh, for now, though, let's build this up. Oh, this is really cool. So this is going to give us plus 30. So we have 13 spare. And hopefully we'll see the population grow faster than it is currently. As for other things I want to try and build, we need to somehow get ourselves more food quickly but if, oh no that costs how much 600 workforce to build a single food location so we're currently even though the housing's sorted we need to try and figure out as well the materials and the food at the same time so that is actually quite worrying in fact i could potentially say that maybe the housing wasn't a good idea at this point but we're trying to balance things out as we play through here i guess what we could do we have loads of prefabs already. We don't necessarily need to keep using this technology. So I'm actually going to reduce this down. Save us some workers. And get the food sorted out right away. And then we just need to figure out the materials. So a fully fun... Yeah, I'm definitely building this. Let me pop this down. A fully functioning material outpost. Oh, I can't figure it out. Let me... um. What would that be? 200, I think, maximum, or 150. So we need, in theory, two of these. So we need actually like six, 700 workers right now, which is ridiculous. I guess we could disable some of these ore ones. Because we currently have ore in stockpile. So I can turn that off, turn this back on to maximum. And then build another material base somewhere nearby. Yeah, I think this could work. I'm already having to juggle around stuff, and that's not a good sign, guys. So as this food thing's about to be finished, this should stop the current issue with food, but materials are still required. I'm going to go and do a little bit of a frost break. Uh, let's see if we can fit inside. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to try and get an extra excavation location. But I'm going to split into groups of two. So this one will have four. And we'll do another factory later on in the game with another four there. So with that in mind, what is currently part of the area? So this little zone here is currently not being used by anything at all. So if I try and make the factory around this or nearby, I want to have a little bit of a slot where there's three hexes facing one hex. So I can do some efficient building later on the districts. So with that in mind, if I do is six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That works out pretty well. So we do that for the new district here. The problem is going to be <laughs> is actually just flat out having the workers for this. But we might have to jig around some workers in a bit to get this to function. Cool. So that's Ross Bacon over there. I guess at some point in the future, we will get this 50 uh, population growth. I'm not sure how much it's going to go up by, but hopefully it will save us from certain doom. Are we pause right now? Yes. <laughs> you think the lack of snow would have given it away, but no, apparently not. So that's working pretty well. Um, I think 
people. Secure additional layers. A cold season is imminent. Five weeks until we run out. Oh no. Let's put the generator on overdrive for now. And that gives us eight weeks. A little bit more time. Not perfect, but at least we have a bit of breathing room there. At least with food, we've got 50 weeks. That's not a problem. But we've got imminent run out for materials and coal at the same time. Which something's going to go very wrong here. And it's not going to look very good here. I guess what we could do is reduce the efficiency of workers in the goods factory temporarily until we get past this cold snap. But looking at this, it's going to get even colder in a few weeks. It's going to get worse and then better, but then still stay worse overall. So that's not great. Oh, people have returned to work. But I haven't got enough to do anything in terms of new buildings. I guess this new coal mine required 400 workers. So if I build that in this location here, that means we'll be looking at an extra 150 coal, which would fix this problem mostly. We still have a little bit of an issue, but we will mostly be on par. Okay, we can get this work. We can get this to function. It's fine. Oh, have they finished? They have. Okay, extracted districts. I guess is why I can try and reduce... the heating over here. Hmm. Interesting. How do I want to get this to work? Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of a test, guys. I, I said the wrong one, but I want to figure out. So right, currently right now, we've got this guy right here, right? He currently is using 10 heat because at the moment, we have an issue where we've got plus 10 from the temperature, right? However, if I turn off the food district nearby, do I still get the bonus? No, it turns it off. Okay, so that's what I want to confirm. So I was thinking in my craziness there, I was going to put down an additional factory and just pretty much turn it off to get two reductions of heat on these two extractors. I guess... Oh, wait. So I could potentially try. So right now it's giving a bonus, right? What if I do this? It still gives a bonus. <laughs> okay i have a plan everybody i have a plan this scale is perfectly right so we'll reduce the workers here a little bit we're going to build an additional district in between these locations here which gives two sets of 20 percent heat uh we can also get wait what do i need to f figure out here this one Excellent. So if I do this, and I have the factory on like even one worker stating, I will just immediately drop loads of heat out, which would be perfect. So we're going to do that right away. This is going to work, guys. Don't worry about it. We got this in the bag, because even if we can't fix coal right away, even if we can just reduce the actual heat usage, that's all we really need to keep things going. 86% on this. I presume if I get just flat out more research bases, it speeds up the research time. But that would require, you guessed it guys, more workers. <laughs> so, not an immediate thing we want to sort out there. Oh no, four weeks. Ten weeks. We can do this, we can do this. I did actually see in the research here, there's actually a house insulation. Base heat demand for housing is decreased. So originally I wasn't that bothered with this when I was looking at it yesterday. Uh, but it's a new day for me by the way, I know. Recording episode and stopping halfway through is weird, but things happen. I this would be good in the in the colder months because it means we just have an even more heat reduction. What are the differences here? Oh, this is a no-brainer one. They all agree with each other on what they want to do. So asbestos lot asbestos. Ha As an Englishman, which is very evident in the UK because we cheaped out like decades ago on housing construction and there's esposos everywhere not a good idea i i have no other choice here but i feel like ethically they're gonna just kill all their children in a good like 30 odd years but i guess it's <laughs> not my problem i'll be dead by then as well it's someone else's problem it's fine right um yeah so i guess we have to go for asbestos lining oh this is not don't ever use that guys please i, I beg of you and that will maybe reduce all these random housing demands. I would I would like it a little bit more if it told me exactly what it did. Is it reduce it by 20, 50, 200? I, I have no idea. I, I would like to know before I research what it actually does. 
but I'm a weird person, I like numbers too much, so what can I really say there? Anyway, we are moments away from getting this sorted out, and I want to build it pretty much right away, but I need to get this building sorted out first. So as this is finished, and done, excellent. This pretty much means one factory is worth two factories, but with less workers, right? So I've only got two coal mines anyway, but if I plop this down, it's going to be a lot better. Now, this does apparently increase the output of disease, which is not ideal, but maybe we can offset that later on with something else. Let's see. I guess then... Even if I put it down now, it will just fix my problem, right? With the coal. We have to wait a little bit longer. I think really this entire build I've done kind of works. We're going to start running the problems very soon, but I think the long term, if I've actually done a good job or not, it's going to be dependent on how much population grows by. If it grows by like 100 workers, I'm dead. <laughs> it's not going to go well for me if that is actually the case there. Okay, good news. This guy is about to be constructed. So, heating should be going down soon. Reduce the workers. And also make more pots, if you don't mind. We need that. Wait, what the? Um, there you go. <laughs> what was happening there? That was a bit strange. So we have our 500 workers spare. Let's put down a dust coal mine on this fella over here. And we have 120 workers remaining. So I think we want to probably... What's more efficient? That's at zero heat. That's not even on. I really don't want to run out of coal. We've got one week remaining, but I just don't think we can deal with it currently. Let's increase the outputs here to get more heat stamps. Should be quite quick, actually. Because I've reduced the heat a little bit by my tinkering. This Do not building. be alarmed by any unusual noises coming from the generator. Routine maintenance work is underway. Someone's blasting out nightcore music, aren't they? Like everyone's like, what's this weird squeaky music going on from the generator? <laughs> Whenever I used to work in a factory many years ago, um, as an engineer, there was like people that every time we go past a workstation with different people, there was this random music playing, but it was always horrifically different. Or sometimes the guy was like listening to Beethoven. Or sometimes it was like London Drill. It was so random. <laughs> I was like, this is the most diverse factor I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay. Give me the coal. Done. With the new mine, the impending doom of depleting coal is postponed. Wait. No, it's not. I don't think people are very long... Got good long-term thinking here. Because all I've done is increase the rate I'm mining. It hasn't actually reduced... The coal usage. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yet differences between community remain. The weakening captain wanted to establish a council to settle them. He didn't live to see through it, though. It falls to you, Stuart. The people of New London want to stay say in how it's run. The first decision, whenever you should continue, to lead the decision. Okay. I didn't read that last bit correctly. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, we need to build a council. 200 workers. I haven't got any workers right now. We will wait until the holy population tick goes through and see what happens there. Good news is though, I'm now making coal. That's sorted out. Bad news is I'm very close to just flat out running out of materials here. What does this do? I think this will mess up or increase squalor, right? And that's it. I, I think that's all it technically does right now. So I'm not that bothered about that one, at least until it gets bad. We can probably just... Because it ticks up and down, right, the disasters. We can maybe just micromanage it, get a different disaster, keep going to another one. But never have one that is too far gone. So, research. I showed us a bit earlier. We want to probably look into something that's going to increase our efficiency again. But when it comes to efficiency, we already have enough coal at the moment. I think we should focus on worker efficiency. So already, the very first coal upgrade has pretty much meant we have two working factories in one factory with less workers overall by like 200 so that is a good idea i'm gonna go out and say does it work the same with other items so they have of course heating resources frostland city society and hubs there's many things to do here resources hot houses so currently we have 600 workers 
in two farms. So I think that is a good avenue to make more efficient. I would say there's other, like, in terms of districts, I have the most in these guys, the excavation districts, but I think I only make specific one or upgrades each time with different building types, so food is probably the most likely one I want to go for here. Uh, let's go back into the research. Hot houses. Okay. So. It looks like it's exactly the same split as last time between the Frostlanders and the New Londoners and Fake Keepers. So. Oh no. I'm, are you guys seeing a trend already? I feel like I'm clearly a Frostlander in real life because they seem to have the most logical building types. So, like before, there's more workers, fair enough. This time is actually more food, but the heating demand is less. So it's more efficient when it comes to just remaining alive. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't see why I would not pick Bioway's Hothouse. This entire mission's deadline is how much coal you have left. I want to spend as little coal as possible. So I'm going to go out and say that that is probably the most likely you want to go for. So I'm going to pick that one first i think which means i can delete or not delete turn off one of the other factories and at the same time has slightly more food output putting me pretty much on par not losing any food at all so that is a great thing so we can do that one next uh, hot houses and go for that one please <laughs> oh no i'm gonna really piss off these two factions it is not gonna go well so what do they want? Through technological pro progress, New London will thrive. These guys are, of course, praying to the machine gods. And these guys are on about adaptation. Okay. Fair enough. I imagine there's going to be more counselors at some point. Maybe not this many. There's like tons of icons, but we'll have to see. Um, how are we looking? Material is running out in four days. We have some unknown amount of time before we get more population. Probably like another three or four weeks, I'm going to go out and say. Resources are looking pretty good. We haven't got a lot of heat stamps, but we do have some pretty decent prefab still. But of course, we're not actually using this building here, so it's not exactly working full steam. Is there anything else nearby I can... Whoa, that is using a lot of resources. <laughs> I... Hmm. That's using a ton. Maybe we'll try and build something nearby to reduce the usage there. What is this? Steward! The stockpiles of materials the captain has gathered have run out. After so many years, our resources in the pit are growing barren. Current output will satisfy some of the demand, but problems will mount over time. We must reach for new deposits, otherwise the city and us will suffer. So that probably means we're going to start seeing what is ticking up. Squalor. Extremely increased by material scarcity. What does this actually do? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so the squalor gradually increases disease, tension, and reduces population growth. It also gradually damages districts. That sounds bad. We probably want to avoid that one. <laughs> um, okay, it's good to know. As we're currently researching working efficiencies with hothouses i think next up should probably be the sawmill which i presume is materials right yes so what we got here untreated or mechanized so it's exactly the same split as before again so it looks like this one is more workers more output oh it's not even close again is is this going to be the same for the entire game why would i want to use three times the heat demand that's so short-sighted we have to go for this. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're going to have to probably try and figure out a way of reducing disease. Because all these buildings I'm going for as well. Increase disease risk. Is there like a anti... Interesting. Is there like an anti... Hospitals. Disease risk. Heat demand. Slightly reduce. Will regularly cure sick people. Ooh. Population growth is slightly increased. Oh, wait, guys, it's happening. This one is actually not with the wasteland, uh, Frostlanders. This one's actually the Faith Keepers. It takes double the heat, but because it increases population growth, this actually works really well with my current vision for the future. So 
they're lucking out. They actually are going to get a building <laughs> at some point in the future. If we can get there. Okay. 193 weeks remaining. I really want to keep moving if I can towards the... Is this bit here? Old way station. If we start getting resources from out and about, it will maybe save our lives. If we like, oh, so we found 5,000 coal or something. That would be a literal miracle. That would be really, really powerful. Food's still okay. I'm really looking forward to it. We're at 80% right now. So is there more information I can get somewhere else? No, not really. Well, at least for now, people are completely content with my leadership. Somehow. <laughs> Don't ask me how that's a thing, but it is. Do you know what I might do? I'm going to be a bit sneaky here. I want to get to that way station. Can I turn something off temporarily just to quickly run over and grab the... I'm going to do it. So that needs to remain on. I don't want to turn off food because it's kind of important right now. Um, what can I turn off? <laughs> I, everything's extremely important right now. I only need 300, right? So if I reduce that by one, reduce that by one as well, I can make my way this way. So I presume I need enough terrain to build this out. So if we do that, we can do one, two, three, four. That should work out. That. The Faith Keepers invite all citizens for evening prayer at the Central Temple. I mean, honestly, they should be just doing overtime instead of praying. So can you guys just go back to work, please? <laughs> now I'm joking. We're not doing any overtime shifts at the moment. We do have some pretty good trust. Though I was actually, um, before, because this is a new day for me since the start of the episode, I was editing this this morning to see if I want to restart or do it again. I was kind of happy with what I did, though. I actually dropped trust when I got money from the Frostlanders. I didn't realize it until I saw the recording. So i got to be careful of that. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> that would be a big problem. I don't know how much this... If they like me, would they give me, like, freebies and stuff? I'm not certain. We're running out of coal here already? <gasps> oh, my God. That's bad. I didn't know that was even in the realm of possibilities at this point. I thought, because it was... Oh, it's two deposits, isn't it? But that's not good, though. It means we're running out. No, what is all this? What, what, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> Steward, some of the coal deposits in this district will soon run out. The Fake Keepers of New Londoners believe they can use explosives to access deeper veins. The Frostlanders say we should send children for mist or what? Some did this as kids themselves in the abandoned mine outpost and they survived unscathed. Well, some of them did it because there's probably most of them died. Um... Interesting. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this is an interesting choice here because it actually tells me what happens. So I can improve the relations with the Frostlanders. But then I'm sending literal children into the mines, which I personally find disgusting. So we're not doing that. That is not happening. No. The explosives, though, is actually a bit of a, I would say, a logical approach. Now, the thing I'm concerned about, though is do we have seismic scanners to lay out the underground areas and figure out if where we should be putting explosives in the first place? Or are we just going to be like, Steve, throw the dynamite over there and see what happens? Because this may not be the entire, oh, let's just say, result of what we're picking here. I'm going to go for this. It's going to probably cause a cave-in, knowing my luck, but it may also improve coal by 10%. Are we... are we okay? We, I think it literally just gave me more coal. Okay, good. <laughs> and it seems faith keepers love me. Which is great news because I wasn't really going to do anything with them. So, <laughs> excellent work. Ooh, so, are these two like opposed to each other or something? Interesting. Anyway, uh, so that's working out on our favor. And guys, it's time. It's nearly time. 94%. I cannot wait to see what that does. Hopefully it'd be truly glorious. Uh, 
moves looking a bit dodgy. We've got still quite a bit of time to get that research done. I think I need to try and prioritize having extra research at some point because we need to get that sorted out. What's all this? Adaptation. Merit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are these opposites of each other? Interesting. These seem to be opposite of each other, so you can't do both. So currently I'm going down the adaptation route, which I accept that it's cold and I should try and make the most of what we have. And the other one is actually just strip mining. <laughs> uh, we've got merit and equality. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Tradition and reason. Oh, okay. So from me personally, from the start here, I'm going to probably go for... I always believe progress is important here, but in a situation like this where it's a video game and stuff like that, unless we have like technology to go and find new coal deposits or have like other generations for like making electricity, I'm probably going to have adaptation. I accept that we're screwed in this frozen wasteland and I'm going to go adapt to it. This one, 100% merit, not even a question. I think everything in society should be merit based. If you put the work in and do a good job, you should be rewarded for it. Doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, what you look like, anything. It should be purely based on merits. This one, reason, without a doubt. I think everyone should approach everything logically and be rational in their decision making. So we had to see. At the end of the game, we had to see if I've stuck with what I believe in personally. And I may go a completely different path. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to figure it out later on. No, you said, okay. Please, everybody. I want 5,000 more workers, please. If you do that for me, I will, I would not die this winter. <laughs> I think if we do get quite a few, I want to put down the council room. So I think it's going to massive. Whoa, no, 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 no. I forgot I had the generator on overdrive mode. Oh, okay. We are going cold. I'm sorry, everybody. I thought it, we were okay. I forgot that it was on overdrive mode. We have to let it go down now. And we're about to go into a colder season mistakes what oh wait 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 1199 more people yes 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 that's great the city grows steward a new count has revealed significant growth in our population in the recent weeks some attribute the rise to an influx of settlers from the frostlands others to births outnumbering deaths whatever the cause we've adjusted our calculations the city needs to reflect the new numbers okay so this is the other thing about well, as i get more people we're going to need more housing food everything that goes along with it also we might make more money from we are there's more heat stamp capacity excellent so I think logistics right away. We get that going and we see what's out there in the, in the wastelands. Done. Next, I have 500 left. I am going to go for the main mission. If this improves my relations with everybody, I might get more refugees if they hear that the steward's back and stuff. So I'm going to take a chance on this and presume because of the increase in trust i might get more workers that way so we'll go for the council hall we're gonna pop that down and now we have 295 left what we do when this is finished we're gonna pop down the first hot house and disable the other one and we will get a net of plus 200 workers that way perfect uh, then we will also start working on other efficiency buildings as well cool so where are they building this down here somewhere right it's not very fast though. <laughs> I'm not sorry about this though, because I loved exploring the Outlands in the old game. I thought it was really fun seeing like uh, all the different locations. I hope because this game is now a larger scale, can I actually like redevelop the lands around me? Can I make an empire? Oh, oh guys, I'm excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> I cannot wait. Uh, a bit scared about the old coal stuff though. Okay, squalor's now rising. Crime? Oh, because we haven't got any goods. The council gathers for the first time who can vote on new laws. <laughs> well, that didn't go exactly as I planned there. Um, the game itself trying to stop democracy, but we will allow the council to have it say, everybody. Uh, it's time to pass the vote of new confidence. Anticipation fills the air as the council opens. The captain ruled with a firm hand for years, but 
Those times died with him. Now the communities of the city want their say. The, the Fake Keepers are the only organized faction and have a strong opinion on, on absolutely everything. They are devoted to what they claimed was the late captain's vision. A godly society built upon progress, equality, and addition. However, the New Londoners and Frostlanders clash over our survival and strategy, but have no firm stance on economy or social issues. Then, there are those who view the Fake Keepers with contempt for their role in New London's history, but they keep to the shadows for now. So apparently, based on your handling of the coal crisis, the first decision is whenever you should maintain your role as steward. I imagine if I fail, I lose the game. <laughs> In fact, I already know this, that this will be the case. So we have to be very careful here. Now, the good news is, is this is pretty awesome. Look at this, the beautiful aspect of democracy inside our fudgling new London city. I think when you return to the council in the future, you'll be able to propose new laws. Okay, fair enough. I think that we have to probably make a bit of a negotiation to get this law through because currently there are 22 two people voting for me and 22 against. And then there is a absolutely randomized 56% that will go either way. I say we go to the negotiation table. Now I have, like I said, I actually had to reload due to some crashes and stuff anyway. I know that there is a chance I can just press this button right now and just win without doing anything at all. But I would say if we negotiate, we might be able to get some additional relations with people that I was going to help anyway. So we're going to negotiate. We can see that we can do New Londoners, Faith Keepers, or Frostlanders. Now, for the most part, we already are helping the Frostlanders with all our technology gains. So that's not a problem. But the New Londoners, they seem to not always be on the side we're going towards. So we're going to see if we can help them help me <laughs> pass this vote. Now, I like that you can actually vote against it. So I can literally just make them lose the game if I want to. Like, look, kill me. I don't want this job. Take it away from me. <laughs> uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, instead, I'm going to say vote for, and we have a few things we can look at here. So they want one of three things. They want a city development law to pass. City development law. Everyone must support and produce... Hmm. I don't actually want that one, I don't think. This is where it's a bit awkward. I wish there was a bit more um, stuff behind this, because I'm pretty certain that this particular law has a byproduct where I can reduce heat costs throughout the entire city way more useful. Uh, we can do automated logistics, which apparently give me 15 more Frostland teams, but has 500 worker requirement. That's a lot of people, isn't it? Hmm. Doesn't seem that efficient to me. Or we can do mechanical factory, or research at some point. Uh, large city use semi-automated machinery to produce construction prefabs and domestic goods with a streamlined workforce. Can I leave this for a second? I want to quickly just check the things they're talking about here. So building logistics bay and mechanical factory. Let's go and find them in the tech tree for a second. So I want to see if I was going to, if I would pick them naturally, it's easy, right? We'll go for it. Uh, what was it? So the first one would be factories. So we've got two choices. The salvaging one, more workers, less good usage, less heat. Oh no. Okay. So there's no, that does not seem good to me. I would rather go for the salvaging factory, in my opinion. So, not a good opportunity. The next one was... Uh, Frostland. Scout headquarters? No. Logistic base. Okay. So, we can go for this. Automated logistic bay. 15 Frostland output. 500 workers. Or we can spend 100 more workers and get 5 more Frostland. That just seems way better to me. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, everybody. I'm having a feeling that I'm not too keen on that situation. Uh, where's the law button? Ah, there it is. Oh, I can't look at new laws? Damn it. Negotiate again. So, I need 56 votes, so maybe we can talk to somebody else? Frostlanders? Research and hold votes. Whoever adjusted shifts. Condemn the Faith Keepers. Survivalist headquarters. This seems like the most likely one. Let's also just have a look at what the Faith Keepers want. Now, the Faith Keepers won't actually help me, by the way. Even if I get their votes, it's still a chance I can fail. So I'm just not interested in that situation. Uh, let's back up again and check that scout headquarters. 
Okay. What? This one is just flat out better. Am I blind? I, I can't see any reason I would not pick this one. <laughs> it's just better. Uh, okay, I've decided. We're going to go and do the vote. We're going to go and negotiate with the Frostlanders, and I'm going to promise them that I will research the Survivalist Headquarter. So that means we only got to get two, I think, no, three votes until we win. We should be fine. Let's go for it. The vote of confidence. Imagine if I lose this. No, we're okay. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. The votes are in. The measure passes. I am the steward now. Um, I like how the... Um, how organized this parliament is. I don't think anyone's ever looked at English parliament. It is absolutely a... I was going to swear, I probably shouldn't, but it's it's pathetic. <laughs> I'm not picking sides in parliament, by the way. I think they're all equally pathetic. They're just like, oh, just shut up, man. Sit down. All right, let people talk, man. What kind of parliament doesn't let people talk? Anyway, moving on. Uh, so, a steward, you shall remain. Good. There are challenges ahead. Expanding the coal extraction is a great success, but the vein will only last so long. We need you to explore the Frostlands for permanent source of fuel. Otherwise, this city will have no future at all. Cool. Oh. Can I not look at this? No, I can't. I'm stuck in the menu. <laughs> a fire has broken out in the coal mine. I shouldn't have clicked on it. I was like, it's over a mine. Do I want to look at this icon or not? <laughs> if we don't react, we'll lose the mines altogether with the deposit. Some of our face keepers engage some of the face keepers engage in the rescue efforts and see if we can still save the mine by cutting off the air supply to the shaft and suffocating the flames. But there are still some miners who are making their way out. It will suffocate them too. Oh no. After we deal with the crisis in the dust coal mine, we will ensure these accidents do not occur again. You better. I better not see any of these come up again. So we can block off the air supply, which will um, save the deposit, but some miners will die. If we run out of coal, the whole city will freeze. The other option would be to evacuate the workers. Our humanity is worth more than a single coal mine. The miners will be saved. However, the dust coal mine will be just destroyed and the district's remaining coal will be reduced by 50%. Okay, I'm going to pretend this is actually a hard choice, but honestly, it's not. I think our humanity is worth more than a single coal mine. I will, I, who am I to decide who lives and dies in society? I will endeavor to keep everybody alive if I can. I refuse. What if one of these miners is the next Einstein of our generation? What if he discovers a way of creating coal from farts? I don't know. But all I do know is that if he dies today, his family will be upset, I will be upset, and our society will be worse off for it. We will let the miners escape. Okay, am I screwed now? <laughs> uh, the coal mine's doomed. And there is negative 20,000 coal remaining. Wait, what? Nah, 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 wait. But it said it was half the remaining coal would be destroyed, not half the total deposit. I've been lied to. The, the game has just flat out lied. Well, I guess this mine is completely useless now. <laughs> it literally has no purpose. Uh, I guess I'm deleting it. Goodbye. Sorry, it's being deleted. Uh, let's put this coal mine on. And now we have a absolutely gargantuan hole in our coal development. Hmm. I'm going to say this is bad, everybody. I'm going to say this is bad. So I guess we have some options here. Uh, good news is the fake keepers like me right now. Give me some money. Uh, I'll use that money to make a second coal mine over here. And then combined, they should be at 300 coal income. Which is nowhere near as much as we need to keep the, everything working. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff, everybody. Okay, so that's going to be working out there. Um, what a disaster. Like, actually, that is, that is not grand in any sense of the word. So that's not a good start for us, um, but at least it's a thing we can look into. We are building the exhibition, though. Maybe this will save us. Maybe we'll find some nearby deposits of coal we can grab, or maybe some kind of mystical heat fairy, and everything will be fine. So, that's removed. Uh, coal is growing. Are we on... 
We're off overdrive right now. I need to keep that in mind. We need to use overdrive in the next few weeks when we go even colder. It's going to be bad. So currently we're researching... Hot... Hot thing? No, wait, what was it? No. We're currently researching the food increase, aren't we? So what I'm going to do now, let's dive back in quickly. And I say we grab this technology now. We just get out of the way and it's done, right? So this will apparently just make it more efficient but it's more of the idea that i'm making the faction like me i would say and then i can try and get more heat stats off them by taking the money off them so we we'll go for that for now or because we have heat issues so we want to go something to do with heat because i could do housing insulation which will reduce the base heat from housing districts one second so our housing demand currently it's only 120. So if we imagine that, for instance, right now we have both coal mines online, we'll be looking at around 140 odd. We can reduce it by a certain amount. If it reduces it completely, we won't have any issue with coal, at least to a point where we're going to lose the game. It's a hard choice though, because in reality, the, my main issue is I don't know exactly what this does. <laughs> it definitely reduces the base heat demand, but that's all we know. Oh, it's a hard choice. How long do I have until I have to complete my pledge? One week. That can't be right. No, wait, what? No. Let's give it a week. Maybe that's glitch and it will tell me the actual number soon. If I have enough time to fit in an extra research, I think we will do it. Uh, apart from that, let's let the game run again. Maybe we want to try and save a little bit on some kind of costing somewhere or anywhere. Can we make anything to help? What's this? Heat stamps required. Proximity heat demand reduction. Demand was... Oh! That could be really good. 38 weeks to register. So, what would that be? 30, 25, 32? Okay, so we actually have time to fit in one research. I say we go for the heat efficiency one now, because it's going to be more prevalent when the winter gets worse. Remember, remember that's happening in around, like, 10 weeks. We go for this right away. Uh, we're going to go for asbestos, clearly, because it's the only option. And then we have to quickly do the other one next without any delays. So that's on the way. Uh, demand. Demand, demand, demand. Do I reduce... I'm going to be doing a bit of a switcheroo kind of thing here. So my idea here is that we attempt to get... No! Oh, no! Sorry, if you don't understand what I'm reacting to, I just got shafted, everybody. Literally shafted. Um, I was about to have enough resources to install another coal mine. I just have one more sick person which removed its capability for me. So that's why I was upset, but we can probably still make this work. Uh, let's reduce that down a little bit again. I want to keep all these, like, close to okay if we can, but coal's going to be the priority. But I did skip over that because we literally just unlocked the ability to go out into the world itself. So let's zoom out and look at this. Do you know what? This reminds me of Game of Thrones. Like, you know, this, the, the original Game of Thrones when they had, like, the starting of King's Landing and all, like, the different icons and stuff spinning around? This is awesome, I like this. So it looks like right now we have one event locally, which is over here. Oh, what's that weird village I was mentioning a while back? And we have some regions we can explore. Now, the question is, where do you want to go first? It looks like on the map to me, there's actually some like hints and tidbits. So like, there seems to be camps. This seems to be the icon as humans here. And this must be something to do with technology. Because it literally looks like a generator. <laughs> uh, so we have the gorge, the highlands, the f I thought I said poo hills for a second there. The foothills and the frozen bay. Now, um, oh, I literally can't do this. Nor can I do this. What about these two? I can do these two. So we have two options then. We can go and explore. We've got this random item here. 
Uh, overpopulation and dwindling fuel reserves force many residents in New London to take refuge in these temporary shelters. Built along a small hot screens, its inhabitants wait for conditions to improve before they return. So I can bring them back, get 2,665 workers, which would probably be around like 1,600-ish workers. But then I'm about to go into a frost spiral, spiral in a second. And can I afford all the foot costs and food costs, heating costs? I think they're going to wait because if you look at the weather forecast, it gets worse, then it gets better. I think we want to wait until things stabilize and we can do things more efficiently. So I'm going to not do that for now, but I will send out the team to... Oh, frost hand dwellers. Three fabs, cores, and frost. This one just has more stuff. Simple as that. Uh, these windland, uh, these windswept foothills used to be thoroughly explored, but whiteouts have erased paths and safe houses as we constructed. The area had an old coal mine. Maybe there's leftover coal. That's great news. So, so far, this is definitely like the dub here, but what's this one? Um, over 30 years ago, the Imperial Exploration Company landed here to build regions generators. A hastily dismantled pier still sticks out of the ice. So there might be some like people we can see, of course it says here, and maybe some materials if it's left over from the expedition. For now though, this one does seem to be the winner. So we're going to send off our 10 expedition units. And I think what we can do, I have five left over. I'm not going to get bring people over for now, so we're going to go back over this way, and I'm going to turn this down by one, which gets me enough workers to build the coal factory. Done, everybody. Sorted. Perfect. Mwah. <laughs> Chef kiss. Okay. So, coal's going to be fixed. Barely. Next issue is going to be, we have 11 weeks until we run out of food, and the housing's not looking great either. We do have a massive issue with supply here. I say we scale down the good factories to reduce demand and try and bring these two to at least be on parallel with each other. Which would also reduce coal. They had to let be left online though, because remember if they're not off online we lose the proximity bonuses. So that means these two are effectively, I think, equivalent of each other right now, which is looking pretty good. I guess we could technically increase this a little bit now, which will increase coal, but then it reduces issues of other aspects of society. Let's think about this for a second. So this is dead. That's completely worthless. That's coming up online soon. Food is pretty much capped out, but we've unlocked the ability to get these dust coal mines. No, sorry, not I want biohazard. Sorry, not biohazard. Bio waste hat wow, sorry. <laughs> Which would effectively mean we have like 1.2 districts instead of just additional on one district. So if I build that right now, it would use slightly less workers. I get 200 back and at the same time, we can turn off that district completely. That's brilliant. I think that was really going to be a worth thing up. I need more resources though. So I think for now we don't do anything. And we just chill for a little bit. I really do want to get the New Londoners pledged though. So we're going to leave it. We'll let things run. Okay. Oh, but I have to remember though, we we're getting quite close to having the worst winter come through. So hopefully this can be built soon. I need to make sure we have enough money for this fella, don't I? 80 heats. Oh, it's perfect. It's actually perfect. One more month and we got what we need. As we got to wait a while, let's increase the maintenance instruction for a little bit. There's going to be a lot of umming and I am apologizing. I haven't got a roadmap on how to win it completely, so I'm going to try and figure out things as I play along here. Okay, build that. Oh, wait. So I actually can have an additional hot house here if I need to as well for the coal mine. 229. And that guy's going to come through at the end there. Looking decent. Looking decent. So what do I need now next? I need the food one, right? So we need another 80 timestamps and more workers. Now that is a temporary problem. What is this? Do I want to click on it? <laughs> I've been scarred by the prior clicking. I'm not sure if I want to do it or not. Hey friend, when one door closes, the first crack. 
Steward, the Faith Givers have begun their monthly processions, visiting each door in the city as a symbol of the captain's presence alive in every home. However, a set group of Frost Hands refuse to leave their doors open. Why would they have the doors open? We aren't getting the way away. We just don't want strangers barging into our homes. What is going on? Uh, we're all under one flock under his wing, urged the priest. How can we be united if one steps away? Nah, I don't agree with this. That's just wasting heat. <laughs> uh, so I can support people just leaving their doors open in a winter apocalypse. And I annoy the Frostlanders, but I improve my relationship with the new Londoners and Faith Keepers. Oh, so it's interesting the new Londoners are like, oh, it's okay. I can stop this and improve relations with the Frostlanders. Or I can not interfere and piss off everybody. I think, sorry guys, uh, it's a shame that we lose relationships with the new Londoners, but I don't see how this is rational having doors open. <laughs> so we're not doing that. Which means these guys like me a bit more. But I can't take more stuff for another six weeks, damn it. Okay, fair enough. Well, oh no. <laughs> no, it's another event. Hello? Herbert Hoover, 42, Prospector. I should be dead. I was the last out of the shaft. I heard it crumble behind me. All that coal burning up, enough to support the city for months. Now, whenever I go through the streets, I see all those young faces freezing over. I wish I can go back and shut off the damn air myself, but I'm here. So I'll work and work until I die in the mines, or I see those young faces grow old. Are you trying to say I made the wrong decision game? Because screw you, okay? I'm happy with my choice. Herbert here gets to live until he's probably an old age of 50, 43. I don't know what the average life expectancy is on the Winter Wastelands, but I imagine it's not like 80. Regardless, screw you, Herbert. You should be grateful. You should go down and get me double time shifting, okay? I want more coal. Uh, screw that guy. Moving on. Uh, let's see. So, 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 so. 26% on the new heat increase. We have pretty decent optics right now. Cold diminishing. Disease growing due to squalor and cold. So that's going to disappear in a second. So we get rid of the cold bit, but squalor's a problem. Squalor's most increasing due to scarcity of goods and stable on guards. So, that means we probably want to get more materials. But where? <laughs> but how? Where and how? Um. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Put that on for now. Yeah, so I made a bit of a oopsie here because uh, we're running out of prefabs, let's notice. We want to try and get income for that going in. And I can't really increase material gain. I just can't do it. It's a shame. Uh, I would say I want to try and get some of these. Uh, we all oh, we we can, we can, we can. But I need six hundred workforce, which I don't have. <laughs> so awkward. Definitely awkward. So how are we looking on this right now? So we've got generator coming up, six seven percent. This might actually, with that text done, we might actually have efficiency up enough that we haven't got to worry about the coal so much that we can reduce the output. Stable. Cold miner. Uh, game. Growing. I wonder if we can try and micromanage just a little bit. Ah, no, there's no point though, because we'll leave it be for now. Let's look at the main map then. So we've got expeditions out and about. Checking stuff out. No chance I'm bringing those guys back. <laughs> That's going to cause a giant issue. And we have the council again in one week and five days. So we can try and push through more laws. Now, how, can we look at the laws? No. So when that comes through in a second, we'll have a look at them and see what we can do there. If there's ones that increase he heating efficiency, we might get rid of the heating problem again that way, which might turn out really good. I guess... I could get some workers back by turning them housing down a little bit, but for now, I think we'll just let the game run through a little bit. Oh, I wonder... Efficiency. Workforce. Please give the right of way to frost breaking teams in transit. No. 
That's very ambitious for you, announcer, because I can't afford frost-breaking teams right now, so that's just flat out not happening. Hmm. I definitely need to get an extra material mine going, because the squad is only going to get worse, isn't it? It's going to continue to get worse and worse. It's going to drag down different aspects at the same time. But we can do a new law. So let's look, look at that in a second. Uh, survival City Society and Rule. Why has this one got a little blinker? What is all this? Rule laws require two-thirds majority to pass. Communities will vote based on their relations. In times of high tension, they will be more inclined to support giving you more power. Interesting. Garden forces. The steward may deploy squads of well-trained equipped guards. Militia. Martial law. Guided vote. What is going... Wait, this is... Uh, I'll tell you what this is, guys. This is the far right. And this is the far left. Secret police. Martial... No! No. <laughs> I refuse. Uh, what are the other ones we can do? So we got survival, city, and society. So this is what we can't do all of them right now, but we can do a few. So we can do food access and goods. Basic necessities, contagions, and community service. Funerals and childhood. Interesting. So. What makes us... I'm going to say heat stamps. I think currently our issue is heat stamps, right? What can I do to increase ink excuse me production efficiency is increased is that for everything heat stamps income increase as well oh no this, this is gonna destroy me there's so many options what is a good idea what is not a good idea oh no oh this one's got loads of options <clears throat> heat demand is decreased okay so far this is a dub we want to go for this one i think uh let me have a look at the others before i make a decision though funerals uh harvesting <laughs> what's going on we'll, if we do a law we'll read through it properly then but that's crazy uh childhood family apprenticeships active workers increase that's pretty handy um but i think we want to deal with the heat right now there's a lot where I really want to pass through here. So this is looking pretty promising. Uh, survival goods. Demand perhaps decreases or we have them more efficient. I think that one's probably what I'll go for. Food activities. Oh wait, actually no. What would it be better in the long run? It'd be this one, wouldn't it? Because it would decrease the amount of goods required in general. And that means in relation you still get paid the correct amount. You get paid the same. It's just use less resources. Interesting. Anyway, I think for now we want to focus on our immediate means, which is going to be we're freezing to death with the lack of coal. So we go for community service, heat pipe watch, and we need to get some more votes. Only the New Londoners want to uh, talk to me about it, though, because I have an active promise with them. Okay. What do you want, New Londoners? So they want mass-produced goods. I just said the opposite. They want mecha mechanized factory. I just said the opposite. And, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they want mechanized sawmill. Okay, that's not great. Everything they want, I don't want, honestly. Um, they just don't want to, they already want to vote for this. I could go with something else first, maybe. But I really think we need the heat now. So 30, we need 52 votes. And it's 18 against. I tell you what. I am flipping a coin. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! The have spoken. The law takes effect. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Plus negative 20 heat on everything? <laughs> wow. Great timing. I'm not going to move people around because, guys, in two weeks we go down to negative 40, I guess. So, but good news. We just made a massive efficiency clause there. That was brilliant. Excellent. Okay. Let's carry on playing. Is this on overdrive right now? It's not. I've been saving up a little bit for this. 
that, Abner, efficiency, it makes sense, right? If there's a giant ga uh, pipe leaking uh, coal, energy, steam, whatever, you're wasting resources, man. It makes sense. Suck it up, check the pipes. This. So, things are looking great for us. The colder season's here. It only lasts for, I think, 20 weeks. We have pretty decent met uh, metrics here. If I look at the... Oh, I can't tell exactly. 1452, 452, stockpile 62. So we've got very... I think that's only going to be like a very small amount. Like, what, 10 10 percent of a deficit? Which I think is completely acceptable. So I'm at this point happy taking away some workers from this location. To put somewhere else. So where do we need workers uh, currently? I did say I wanted to get some more materials going. Or we can wait a little bit, save up and get the hothouse. Which needs more of that. Yeah, I think this is probably the better one to go for. Because uh, then we can reduce or increase our food income. Which will work out pretty well. Or... Do I go to full shebang and build an extra material mine and just put down the low workers? So at least it's there if we really need it in a pinch. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the pinch. Okay, temporarily, we're reducing this down. Sorry, I need the workers for a quick project here. If I just plop this down like so. And then we'll turn it off again afterwards. It should be fine. Cool. Yeah, because even with that off... Oh, that is quite a lot. Yeah, I think we want to get that lower. Like 20% maximum if we can. So we will switch things around later on. Okay, uh, what else happened in the game? We've got another few weeks to do more recess. I need to make sure we have 50 heat stamps when this is finished. I forgot about this. So in a minute, we're going to get even more efficiency come through. If it's another 20%, that's huge. Because it pretty much completely offsets our current issue with all housing. It'll all be free. How's the outlook going? Ooh. Oh no. There's an event. <laughs> there is an event of some type. Heat stamps. Faith Keeper suggested action. Steward, we're struggling with heat stamps. You're not wrong. A group of faith keepers have come forward with an idea on how to solve it. We should pass mass-produced goods. Let us pursue it and the city will benefit. I kind of feel like we should do the other one, to be honest. Uh, the faith keepers look with distrust at what other communities propose. They would surely appreciate you getting behind their idea. If we have, if we have limited resources, would it not be better to have something you can use for a long time and repair easily instead of just having like some throwaway toaster that you get these days in any supermarket i i just don't agree faith keepers uh, i i just i'm sorry i just don't agree with you i'm sorry oh no <laughs> so at this point is trust a combination of all these people's feelings against me it might be. I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, sorry guys. I just don't agree with you in this situation. I will take your ideas into consideration. I mean, like, personally, I agree with your hospital thing. I, I, I think your hospital idea is the right idea. If I can find it again. I agree with recovery hospitals. This is a great idea. I'm not going to completely shut you down. It's just that right now I don't believe in you. I'm sorry. Anyway. This is the, oh, I'm excited. Come on. If we find loads of caches of, like, food, coal, whatever, it's going to be a good day. Oh, that just stick up. I think it did. Oh, no. <laughs> More unhappiness. Do I want to put on the heater now? No, I think we'll still leave it for now. We'll leave it off. We're about to unlock something on the world map, though. I will do this, but when it ticks down a bit more. I don't want to get more and more negative events. We'll wait until it's uh, near the end here. Okay, let's pause. So, we've discovered... Oh, wait. Oh, you can actually see it. Oh, how cool is this? Okay, so we discovered this part of the map. 
of the foothills. We've got three possibles. This towering structure often attracts outcasts and scavengers. Oh, <laughs> sorry. This tower structure often attracts outcasts and scavengers who would rather live together in cold isolation than follow the laws of New London. The settlement has been in decline since the collapse of the Observer Tower. Some may be willing to reconsider their situation and join the city. So we can get immediately some people. We need a new and stable source of heat in New London to be able to convince them to come over. Oh, so this is a long-term one. We want to grab this when we have everything sorted out. But why is my watch telling me I'm on a hike right now? I didn't press any buttons. Sorry, I mean, just... <laughs> I'm not on a hike. Anyway, moving on with my life. Um, <laughs> strange. Did a two-hour hike without doing any steps at all. The Jetson secondary engine of a dreadnought under its hull, we found a core. An irreproducible component from before the frost, which we can use to power our most advanced technology. Fissures and I suggest the dreadnought traveled to the frozen bay a long time ago. So we get two cores... Without any negative recompressions. Okay, that's brilliant. Uh, what's this one? The aban- Oh, the- uh, oh, oh. So, this is the abandoned coal mine. A mining complex inhabited by children a long time ago. Over the years, they grew older and became citizens of New London. The last miners were all home by the captain, but we know some coal remains in the shafts. The approach trail was in poor condition, but we found a warehouse of prefabs the captain intends to use to improve it. We could take them or leave them in place if we want to use the mine again. So we can do short term or long term. Interesting. Uh, so using the mine will take more frost and teams. We get 300 prefabs and that thing as well. Or we can leave it. I think this is the most obvious answer. We need the coal mine. It might save us. So yes, we will keep that alive. What is this? Mining complex once inhabited by children whose over many years grew older and are now edged. We need that already. Mining complex once inhabited by children who over many years grew. We already know this. An outpost here could increase our supply by 250 coal until it's a deposit of 4,000. Four, no, 400,000. 448,000 coal is depleted. So, let me just quickly zoom into the city here. So, what is that in relation to my current usage? It's double. Double. No brainer. We need it. So, I need to spend... How do I do this? Connect tray... Ooh, what is this? Wait, how do I do this? It does cost... Why is it not mentioning any of these resources when I was doing the other thing? Sorry. <laughs> Let's do it this way where it's free. Okay, build trail. Oh, do I have to go there, then there? Wait, why is it not letting me do... I am confused. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh, I can't afford it. I'm poor. <laughs> Just like real life. No, 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 no. Go, go down. Go down. Okay, I don't think I can figure out a way of doing this without the costing, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why can't I build it completely into the city? How do I get it into the city? <laughs> What's happening here? Do I build a trail from... Well, I'm confused. Uh, there's clearly some kind of mechanic I'm not understanding here. I have to... Is this where it has to go to to get to the city? Oh, maybe? Let's try this. If that works, sword. If it doesn't work, depression. The only thing I'm thinking right now, because it seems there's connection points, right? Is, do I have to connect that to this one? We'll see what happens in a few minutes. Anyway. Uh, keep on going. I got no more teams available. I'm going to go back in. Oh, wait. Pause, 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 pause. Asbestos lining. Everyone's favorite thing has been introduced. We have now reduced the housing districts by another 20. Nice. So do I even need to turn this on at this point? I think that's pretty okay. 
Let's rebalance the resources again. Okay, so I'm going to temporarily turn this off to figure out how much I actually need. We're going to increase the good production and we want these guys up and running so I can go to the map and we can grab those two cores because once we got it, we got it, right? Um, in the past game, cores are super, super powerful. Like it allows you to collect stuff without any workers. If, that how, if that's how it works in this game, we can maybe activate the coal mine with no workers on it or whatever and it'd just be perfect. I don't know how it works this one, but we'll find out soon. So, we have 159. I need this, don't I? Eight, that's a lot of heat stamps. <laughs> we'll leave it be. Squalor's growing. Cold is diminishing. Disease is increasing. What do you mean? Cold is notable. Why is it increasing so much? <laughs> that's not fair. Oh, I forgot. We need to get this going. Oh, I, need, I got three weeks to get enough money. I need 50. Let's just be a bit safe here. I'm going to reduce some other stuff temporarily. Make sure we maximize good production. To get a little bit more money each month. I really need to make sure that we get that research going as soon as possible. I can't do this for some reason. We really need that many more workers. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Sorry, guys. I need to nick you guys temporarily. It still won't let me do it. There must be something else going on here. Why can't I not get to 100%? What is happening? It's getting worse. Curious. Is it due to there having to be a minimum amount of materials coming in to increase good output? That might have been what was happening there. Done. Anyway, regardless, our income is now still nine a week. <laughs> After all of that, it's still exactly the same. <laughs> typical. Absolutely typical. Ooh, cores are pivotal components of machinery from the era of seeing the Great Frost. These are essential when upgrading the generator and constructing advanced buildings. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I guess the main thing is from this end is going to be the clause that it's essential to upgrade the generator. Requires 75 oil supply. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, dude, we have to go through all these. The efficiency upgrades are going to be huge at some point. I don't know if we're going to get this done in time. One more week, I can start the upgrade. It's going to take 17 weeks to get the survivalist headquarters upgraded. <laughs> I am living life on the edge right now. Come on, game. Come on, game. What is up with the weird income? Give me what I need. Okay, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Put it in. Uh, Frostland, Scout Headquarter, Research. Okay, it's locked in. Let's reduce this down. I want to get the materials back up. Hmm, yeah, it's a bit hard to figure out what I was doing before. I think, because I do really want to get this guy going, but we just can't afford it right now. I could, in theory, get money from these fellas. Because these guys kind of like me right now. So if I could raise funds with them. We have a lot more options with heat stamps again. So we can do what we want. I think we're going to use that immediately to build up one of these locations. So this one has 223k food. This one has 230. This is literally exactly the same. So reduce this one down. And I'll do this one first. Because it's connected to all the other buildings. It makes more sense to have this running longer. Uh, so bio waste put that down and i might just turn this off actually sword okay so we probably have too much heat income right now and we're getting quite close to being at a point where we have enough heat generally so i'm going to overdrive and i'm going to use this now to reduce the income elsewhere because a little bit of cold isn't going to kill anybody. It's just going to make them slightly unhappy. That's too much cold. <laughs> 21, that's okay. 
So we got 427 workers back again for the next time. So I will say then, we can do another efficiency building if we wanted to. So I could put down a second hothouse, but probably a bit overkill. Or I can put down a second dust coal mine. I think we don't do any of that for now and we just leave things be. What I could potentially do though... It's nothing, so we have got enough prefabs. I want to put the workers in this for now. Let's try and get ourselves some more prefabs rocking in. Uh, uh, oh god, guys, we're not actually doing any expeditions right now. I completely messed that up. Connect the trails. But how? <laughs> One, two. Is this the city entrance? We'll see if that activates the coal mine. So we have five workers left over now. We'll just leave it be. Now, we have to click on this event before they get pissed off at me. Uh, Ray Born, 32 Scout, Daring to Dream. We have a council, but would anything actually change? For years, the Faith Keepers have just had their way. But if this is a chance to block some of their idiotic ideas, we can show the city reason, convince them to adapt to the frost, to embrace this ice age, and to tear ourselves away from the addiction to our generator. Interesting. Oh, oh. The Evolvers are now officially recognized by the city. Evolver delegates will be joining the next council session. Interesting. So we have a brand new faction, the Evolvers. 536 Frostlanders have organized a faction. These Evolvers prize cold rationality, personal achievement, and adaptation to the Frost. Wait a second. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is what I said earlier. Adaptation, merit, and reason. Brothers. <laughs> now, we're, we're going to go by... Yeah, at the moment it seems like they are perfect. But they probably don't completely agree with me at all times. So... We have those guys in. Uh, apparently, they unlock train workers. Evolves will train workers to drastically increase their productivity. Ooh. And they also, if they've got good relations, will give hill sick people. Wait, there's a good relation perk? Oh, no. Where do I see this perk? Where do I see this information game? Apparently, there's some kind of passive happiness perk, but I don't know how to identify where it is. Is it only for certain factions, maybe? Ah, yeah, it's only for certain factions. So, the Faith Keepers, uh, they will hold evening prayer. So, they just make people happy. And they also decrease tension. And I'm going to go and presume, then, that these guys are not actually a proper faction either, then, right? No, they don't have any buffs, buffs or debuffs. Interesting. Okay, so... Uh, while I was faffing around with that, we actually have a new law we can pass. Let's do it. Okay, I had to quickly reload again because there's there are clearly some bugs in this game because I was trying to pass a law and there were no options. <laughs> this was all blank for some reason, like there was no options to click through, so I was like, what's happening? Regardless, I know what I'm doing. So we're going to be doing basic necessities to next next law. So I was trying to think what would be a good idea, and this one I think is probably the best option currently. Basic necessities, enforce, no common rules. So currently, if you need something such as food or basic clothing, it depends on the area of the city you live in. You might get it for free. You might have to give someone something for it in return. Simple. This will make this go one way or another. So you can either do everything for free, where you just get stuff like that to survive, or you have to work for a living and you get stuff for a small fee. Kind of like in real life. You don't just get stuff for free in most places. I'm going to go for this for one main reason, which is it gives you a productivity increase for everything. But the real clincher here is that it increases my heat stamp income for the entire game. Currently, most of the issues I have in our city is due to the lack of heat stamps. I want to build an upgrade, can't do it. I want to do frost breaking, can't do it. Heat stamps is what we need. So we're going for this law here. Now, this does mean we have to give a bit of a um, backhand to somebody here. So we got the only option which is the new londoners if i decide to give them one of these options uh, vote for it now i did have a look i don't want to go for another research dedication because i want to research what i want and also i feel like this is not the option i'll go for anyway so we're not going to do that one 
I do not want to pass mass produced goods. We got over that one earlier. I'd rather have the efficiency one. So it only leaves us with this one. Now this might be a double edged sword because currently I've pretty much disagreed with the New Londoners in nearly every aspect. And the next vote will be something that they get to decide. But I can potentially do something against it. Remember, I can also make them vote against in future votes so I can maybe stop whatever they want to pass through. And if I'm lucky, I might even agree with what they're trying to pass through. For now, though, we're going to go for this. Uh, with that locked in, this should give us what we need. So I'm kind of excited to see what this necessarily does because if it does increase efficiency a lot... Do you know what? I made a mistake. I forgot to check <laughs> what the income was before I did that. Uh, you can probably just go back in the video quickly if you want to see the actual difference, but I feel like it did make things more efficient. If we go and look at this guy, we're getting an extra 12. So it's an extra 10% increase in all production from that law. And when it comes to heat stamps, we're getting plus 1.8. Central District plus... Interesting. So that's pretty good. So that is increasing that by quite a bit, I would say. So hopefully over time I tick up and we get more and more stuff. Now this does mean I have to give in and grant an agenda to these guys. I'll do that right away. So. Let me think about this for a second. I would say that I can just get money off them right away. But what's the point? <laughs> Um, because they can get heat stamps, but these guys haven't got any particular buffs to keeping them at happiness. And I don't really need heat stamps right now, but in the future, we might be able to use it to get some money back, I guess. Okay, uh, camera playing. So, 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 so. I hope this works. I really do. Am I at a point where we think I can get away? with having the extra population come into the city. Yes, but no. I'm going to wait a little bit longer until we get rid of the cold debuff, and then we'll probably bring some people in, I think. Uh, for my population, I've only got a lot of dudes around about right now. I don't really want to talk to any of these people. When this is finished next week, I will send them off to check out the next region over, and hopefully we can find some more resources that way. Now, it does seem that we have some issues with the Faith Keepers now. They're not happy with me. But I guess it just is what it is at this point. There's not really too much we can do about it. I've got the generator on. Which is a little bit more clear. If I hover over this, it should say, like, amount of weeks until it goes by. That'd be quite good. Wait, warmer season, colder season, whiteout. Is there going to be a whiteout at some point? Oh my god, can you imagine? That would be terrifying. Wait, 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 wait. What's happening? Oh, 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 oh. I've done it. The mine's working. Oh. <gasps> Interesting. So we have a mine working, but it requires a resource of the Frostland teams. Okay, that's a that's not perfect, is it? That's not perfect at all, because now we need to have additional outputs. So I have actually gone and grabbed an upgrade, didn't I? Where was it? Or is that what I'm researching right now? We are currently researching Scout Headquarters which is constructed in district itself. So it increases the expiration time, but not actually giving me anything else. Oh, they want that one as well. Um, harvester hangers. Oh, we can make them better at harvesting. Interesting. Skyways. Curious. So at least for now then, I'm not really seeing anything jumping out at me. That will massively increase Frostland output without being horrifically inefficient. So this one, for instance, will go inside the district, district and it will cost me 600 workers. If I just go and get a brand new district, district, it only costs 400 workers. So this is more efficient for now. I... Ooh, wait a second. I could expand the district out. If I do that twice... I can still expand 
uh, explore while also having the same amount of workers. This might be the best case scenario for this point. So I have to do it twice. Now, one thing I'm not sure about, it increased it by how much for the housing? It went from 20 to 25. So if I imagine it might be five again, I might go from 15 to 20. Then if I do it a second time, I'll go from 20 to 25. That's a big guess though, isn't it? I'm not exactly sure. Good news is the larger housing district, I can upgrade again for exactly the same cost. I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to spend 50 points and we're going to see if it gives me five. Oh, we can't actually do this, can we? Oh, no. I take it back. <laughs> I can't do what I wanted. It's not going to work out. I guess what we could do then for now. This is a great option. I will work on it as a priority. We we'll save the units for now and send them off on the next mission. Just get them over there. So they're going to head over that way. We still have five units left. So... What do we do now? <laughs> I tell you, we just carry on. That's really good, though, because if 250 income for coal, uh, my current and generated requirements is 203 with overdrive on, I could potentially fuel the city with external coal. Which means I can then use all these workers on whatever I want elsewhere in the game. That's pretty powerful. I get an extra 600 workers. I could put on anything. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty bad, actually. Cool. So, ooh, what is this? We'll let that tick. I'm not going to click on it. <laughs> it might screw me over. I'm not going near it. Okay, questions then. I want to get frost breaking done. I need 200 workers. If we can maybe reduce this temporarily. Frost breaking. We're going to... We got... How many works we got? One there, one there. I say we dive towards this dude. So we got infinite frozen forest. And there's a stable shuttle that way. But I think we should just go directly this way for now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's going to be another one afterwards. I think things are going pretty well though. I mean, we literally have zero tension right now. The thing I will say though is because we are running out of, we're increasing our buildings quite a bit, we are unlocking unfortunately a few negative buildings. Like these are producing disease passively now. So I can't really stop that. But I think as long as I get the buildings that will have the same issue, I can just build a hospital and hopefully offset it across the entire map. At least that's the general plan there. Okay, we're about to go warmer and I can turn off the overdrive I think in a second. Can I afford that one? Yes, I can. <laughs> it's pretty handy. I mean, these sea stamps are already coming to use already. We're getting quite a few. Done. So we need only 400 workers for that. I want to see what our resources look like in a second when we go warmer. If I can, I think I might bring in those people from the nearby expedition over here, which will get me a lot more units I can mess around with. I think we might be able to offset the additional resources required to upkeep them if we just have everything on. A lot of my factories are currently offline. Okay, so. 78 heat costs at the moment. And we've only got one coal mine on a very small amount of usage. So looking pretty good. Hmm. If I reduce this by one. Increase that by one. We're now gaining coal. And the other option items are okay. I think they're okay. Do you know what? It's time. It is finally time I actually look at this event. It might be bad, it may be good, but we won't know until I look at it. Talk to me. Sue Miller, age 12 street urchin, looking for trouble. That's not a good start. Cindy's pa went and got her a governess, like she's going to be a duchess or something. Not on our watch, we have wrap up a little. Wait. What am I reading? 
Ferguson's boys are, will learn this too. If they try and wipe us again... We're, we're Paul Razors and say... Oh no, we've actually created real life London right now. This is... I wanted Lo New London to be a better London without the same problems as the actual one. Why? We, what, is, what is happening right now? The lack of law regard regulating childhood is causing tension to rise. I feel like we should probably fix this. Short blade. Oh no. We literally have gangs of kids with knives. This is identical to real life. We need to fix this right away. Um, but I can't because the council's under control of the damn New Londoners. It's okay. Um, <laughs> well, I say it's okay. Is it okay? Is it? I'm not really certain <laughs> right now. Uh, okay, let's do this tactically. Can I look at laws I can pass? No, I can't. It won't let me... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Explore laws. Who is in society? Childhood. So we can do family apprenticeships, which is supported by the faith keepers, or we can do monetary schools. I'm going to do a gamble, everybody. We are going to make a promise to the faith keepers wait what oh, I actually get to choose that's pretty cool uh, research all do you mean okay this is not what I wanted I was hoping one of the options would be to increase or oh, give children family education didn't work out for me. Uh, what are these other ones? I have to research something, research something else, or re okay, I, I, I want my research to be my own, so no. I should look into these though, in case I can get another one that I would do anyway. Liberated youth, unproductive maintenance. Yeah, it's all about research, isn't it? This doesn't seem to be about... Hmm. Okay, well, it's worth checking out, wasn't it? Just to see what that was, go what was going on there. What we do then? We just, just hope that they pick a okay law in the next four days, and then we'll try and pass the child one as soon as possible. I think that's our really only our way through this at this point. So, what else was I doing at this point? We're heading towards that way. I need to get a second exhibition post down, which requires more workers. What is this? Um, city development. Wait. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. We, we don't need this. We already have the anti heat one. What are you trying to do to me here? Uh oh, <laughs> um, the good news is they haven't got a majority. We need 51 votes, right? So they're six off. If I bring on task, the faith keepers, which I can bring in to me with funding their project, which costs me some money anyway, but then I increase relations getting rid of the negative debuff. Yes. I accept. What? Too many promises? Let me promise each faction. I've I've fluffed it. It's fluffed. I've ruined it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's not panic too much. I have too many promises. I have two promises on going, right? If I wait a little bit. Wait, what's this? Okay, that's fine, whatever. We'll come to that later. I reckon this is going to be over in three weeks. I can then bring the way larger faction on, on to task instead, right? It's fine. It's not panic, not a problem. Okay, how are we looking with other stuff? So, i got 200 workforce available. That's turned off. I want to try and get more people exploring. So, if we can get that sorted out, I can. I will. 400 workforce. 400 workforce. Hmm. Is there anywhere I can get an extra few dudes helping me out here? I guess I could reduce heat sap a little bit. 
And we use this to quickly build logistics in. Because remember, the quicker I get the coal going, the quicker I can reduce workers here, and we can save our own coal. So, that'd be pretty powerful. 88 weeks there. Things are looking okay, though. I mean, like, the weather's okay now for the next 50-odd weeks. We got... It's basically we're in summer right now, which is quite nice. But then there seems to be... It goes to 40, and it stays at 40 for, like, half a year. Which is not great. So we need to make sure we have some more efficiency buildings before then. And definitely need to make sure we don't have this stupid law passed that would ruin my chances, which would just annoy me. Uh, now, something I am a bit worried about, actually, is we don't seem to have a lot of material prefabs left. Which is a problem. I guess I could... It's, oh, it's nearly a maximum. We are working on it. We get 13 a week, so it's not great. And there's, what, how much? 44 left. And I think, looking at the map, there's only... I can't tell. <laughs> I think there's only one more source of prefabs in the game anyway. Oh, excellent. Frostlanders are now delighted. Excellent. Okay. We're stopping the game. We're going to jump into this. And we're going to negotiate. So I want Frostlanders, vote against please. And we're going to uh, promise them to bring in durable goods, which I want to do anyway. Makes sense, right? There's also a new law. What's this one? Pathfinder Scouts. Ter territory threat. That sounds really good for the long run exploring. Let's go for that one instead. I definitely want that one first. So we bring that in, which actually makes it have a higher chance of success anyway. So we, we promise that. And I can negotiate again. Okay, I want you guys to vote against as well. And I will give you money, which I need to do anyway to increase their relations with me, which would be a double prong effect. I increase relations once, and then I increase relations again when they're happy that I did what I promised. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. The Farron Apprenticeships. Let's think about this for a second. How long did I have last time to do this? Because I'm going to be doing both actions, right? Anyway. But the thing is, how long do I have to do it? Do I have enough time to do both of them? Let's do long-term thinking here. I, I need to be careful. If I promise too much and I can't have physically enough time to do all the laws, I will instantly fail one of them. Community action. Law oppose. Bring that in. Accept. Vote. Locked in. Done. I say nay! Hear ye, hear ye, the votes are in, the measure fails. Yay. That's what you get. Okay, so now we need to fund these guys, which I can do immediately. Faith improve. They still hate me, though. Oh, I was expecting that. I thought that would have saved me. Uh, the Evolvers, my god, they love me. I think I've actually saw like a like a some kind of fan club event earlier and they were like making pictures of me. It was pretty awesome. Uh, so these guys love me, which means I get the perk, right? Evolves a purely heal sick or injured workforce. And 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 can I now bring in this? Stuart. Oh my god, I can. So as far as I can tell, there's no downside to this, right? It she just says it works and there's no cost or anything. Oh, the downside is they become stronger, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on if you agree with their line of sight. And as we discussed earlier, I do. <laughs> so nice. What is the efficiency bonus, by the way? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 20 percent increase. How long does that last for? A unknown amount of time. I probably just missed the pop-up somewhere on the screen. Did it actually say anywhere? I have no idea. Regardless, we've got enough stuff for now. Uh, research. So I did promise to research Pathfinder Scouts, didn't I? So we'll do that right away. Uh, to free up the promises. Frostland Scouts. Territory threat is reduced 14 weeks. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. So that's gone up because I guess we have more um, efficiency in the research lab as well. Nice. Looking pretty good, if I say so myself. We even have more Pathfinders? Oh, yeah! Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. 
Okay, we keep waiting for now, though. So, um, we have how long? Nine weeks until we can do another vote. I said we go immediately for the law one. Get that sorted out. Do you know what? I was just thinking this a second ago. I really shouldn't have gone for... I did mess that up, didn't I? I should have gone for the law. Because if the same law was what I wanted to pass anyway, it would have been fine. I was banking on me losing that vote. I would have to do two laws to offset it. So I did make a mistake there. I did actually make a mistake. But it's okay. I fluffed it. Okay, when this is finished, we activate the coal mines abroad, and then we can turn off all these dudes. And I think I want to try and move more people into the locals here. I also want to build up, if I can, with a frost break. I want to unlock the rest of this chasm to get the more efficient housing, because we can turn these off and have them over here instead with just 50% more housing, which also is just more efficient without a doubt. Um, how am I looking? Oh, that's, it's trying to make me... I, I don't want to build that for now. We'll get it at some point. But for now, it's not a priority. Show me your secret scheme. Activate the coal. Wait, how do I turn it on? Ah. So if I zoom back in... Give me a second. Let's figure this out. So now we have plus 255. I just double check with generator is off. Uh, can I just turn this off now? I can. But do I want to? <laughs> so that means we get an extra 725 workers. The next big increase in efficiency, I would say, would be sawmill, which we can't do right now. I need this. Is there another one as well that increases prefab? Picking up? Oh, I can see. Okay, so that's, that's on the run anyway. Good good times. Let's plop down. We need more we need more uh, frost breaking, don't we? Okay, that actually works out quite well. So we unlock both prefab locations. There one, two, three, four, five. Seven. There's barely enough room to actually put that down, but we can get sort anyway. Prefab, income. Yeah, because this only was going to last so long anyway. Dude, it's actually working out really well. If I can, because we're at a point where things are going quite well, I do want to get to a point where we actually have stockpiles of resources instead of just being on the cusp of death at every moment. But things are looking pretty good right now. And we've completely stopped using coal from our own city at all. So we just, it's efficient. We have really just done a good job there. Oh! Okay, so what's our new events? The Others. In a caravan near the bay, we found a disturbing sight. Bodies in sturdy frostland gear, neatly laid side by side and freezing to death. With black oil markings over their closed eyes, a ghastly burial ritual. Oil. A map we found suggests they were heading to the old machine somewhere in the desolate coast. Okay, machine will require a source of fuel. Oh, I gotta be honest here. As cool as this map looks, having a literal oil derrick is a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> oh, what might be here? I'm gonna just go. I'm sorry, I had to say it. I had to say it. it. Oil's here. There's a machine, and there's probably coal over here. It looks pretty obvious, or maybe iron for materials. It's got some kind of mine. That's all we know. So uh, the other one is this. Community of Frostlanders are eking out a pitiful existence off um, moss and small fish with no furnace. They survive by sleeping shoulder to shoulder under the thick layers of fur. That sounds pretty comfy, actually. Um, I can take them in. Curious. Okay, we're going to do it. So, the plan here is going to be a simple one. I am at a point where my economy is pretty balanced. I can deal with some issues, I think, currently, to try and push in uh, overall more work population and more people in the village. The more people we have, the more heat stamps I get, the quicker I can build upgrades. It adds up. It adds up. So I'm going to quickly go and bring those dudes in.
join me. And we're going to go and explore the oil lands. Now, you think about it this way, everybody. If we go here, there's oil. What replaced coal in real life? Oil did. It was more efficient. Just easier to get. Burns fast. It's, just, it's the better option. This might be how we get off coal to win the entire campaign mission. It's worth going for. Now, I would say I'd actually had enough points if I wanted to to go else to one of these other lands. But if you look at this, dangerous. 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 Not safe, guys. We will lose citizens doing that. It's not worth it. Wait. What is this? Now the Frostlanders have departed, we can use the villager to provide fish for New London. An outpost here can increase the food supply. Excuse me? Yes. 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 <laughs> no, yes. I, I need it. Give it to me. So now we just have... We're using five uh, workers to get 100 food output for 80,000... That's great. So if I go back over here... Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. That is brilliant news. That really is. That is excellent. So that means I can now probably... I don't even need to cut back technically, but we can reduce food for now. Giving me more workers. I'm going to then use it to increase prefab production, or at least pop it down so we can increase the amount we're generating. Because regardless of what happens in the game, we need this at some point to get prefabs. That's guaranteed in the game. This week only. We have too much coal. We are making... This is going so well. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have said anything. This might kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> no. The Londoners. Stuart. Five children are dead. Oh. And dozens lay wounded after two large youth gangs met for what they call a rumble. Most of the children were armed with knives. And fighting escalated to a full-scale battle. As the parents of the deceased mourn, many insist that the children should have not have been left unattended. Give me six weeks... It's on the agenda. It will be fixed in six weeks. Um, as the pair, um, indeed, many backstreet allies seem to have been overtaken by uncared for use. Some areas are beginning to be dangerous even for adults. Oh no. So this increases crime until we fix it. I will commit to resolving the issue, which might actually give me some general trust by keeping my word. So we're doing it. Five children dead though. Five too many. Uh, okay. So that's working out. Well, not really, but <laughs> I will fix it soon in four weeks. So this, oh, it's running out. This resource deposit is getting lower and lower. Housing district nearby. Oh, if I can just get a little bit closer. Wait, can I make this work? No, I can't make it work. If I can get one slot there, this would be perfect. We can do it. It's worth it. It's worth it. I don't care what everyone else says. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm making more room for the housing districts later on, so we'll do that for now. Done. Prospect, buddy. Okay. I do. Whoa, oh my god, I forgot about the whole farming thing, didn't I? Holy, that is a lot of people. And look how well our economy is doing with this much more people in our economy. This is looking pretty dear. So let's max out all these for now. I don't really see reason not to. We can actually start having a stockpile of goods. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We'll cap out the income production for heat stamps first. So we'll pop these up to 100%. And that means we do need to activate more material handling. Not too much, though. And we do have an issue with housing, which I can fix. So over here, of course, we have this guy coming in. I want to probably plop down the extraction district first. Because we need to make sure we have um, just housing to stop this. Because, of course... Lack of housing increases cold. Cold increases everything else in the game. Not good. We want to avoid that if we can. 
Okay, so you guys aren't spawning, right? Yeah, you are. Good, 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 good. So I do actually have 10 dudes just standing around doing nothing, but I think that's probably okay for now. I guess I can do a little bit of efficiency reduction if I pull back some of these. Oh, I already knew that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I think we just ticked up the population generally. So we just got a double whammy. Now we have a bigger problem with um, supplies. Still the same plan in a way, but this means we need to prioritize this a bit faster. So I'm going to plop down here then. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four. Done. So this location, it didn't work. I see. Okay, so I can't just get exactly what I wanted, but I can still make this work in a way. So we make the extractor more efficient. We take heat from the housing district, but unfortunately we don't have enough to get an extra 20% from the mine. But it's okay. It's fine. So pop that down. We have a lot of stuff left over. We need to put some housing down, but we just do not have the prefabs for it. So these are working at full steam. We'll get 19 a week, so that would be... Well, more in the future would be at 38, which is pretty decent. And we're quite close now to bringing in an extra law, which we need to get rid of the child issue. They need to be safe on our streets. They need to go into the workforce, which I have a lot of right now, but I think it'd be the better way forward here. Um, what else can I do here? I think we just wait for the law to come through and we'll smash it out in a second. There we go. Just goes to show that if I didn't make a mistake earlier, I would have got the positive from passing the stores and do anyway with the um, faith keepers and also save myself um, some cash, like a hundred odd heat stamps. So that was a massive mistake there. Uh, childhood, family apprenticeships. Definitely what I want to go for. More workers, I can have way more leeway with my worker heavy society. So what I would say as well, with this, it increases the percentage of workers I get from the workforce. It doesn't increase the population's demands. Even if I have less workers percentage or not, I'm still using exactly the same amount of resources in my economy. So more percentage, more efficiency. So we want to vote for this if we can, but we need to do some kind of thing. So they want prefabs, no way. Chemical hothouse, they want me to research it. I mean, research doesn't necessarily mean use, but at the same time, it's wasting research time on something else. Can I get anyone else to do it for me? Hmm. Okay. What we're going to do. I want to get this pass. How long do I have? It's not that long. Okay, four weeks we pass. We then can do another, well, incentive for the Frostlanders. It should work out okay. In the meantime, let's get some housing down, which I can't. Oh, look at this thing. How did that even fit in there? It's pretty cool, though. They must have some kind of lift inside there. Oh, I can't see. They put a giant light in there, so I, curious minds can't figure out logistics. <laughs> Damn you, developers. I wanted to see how it worked. Okay, factory's increasing. That's going to be at full tilt. I think I actually might want to start gathering some coal. Let's do it. This will end up with me having a stockpile for when it gets colder. I have a bit more leeway before we actually have a problem. I think it works out quite well. Uh, the factory's online as well. So now we're producing way more prefabs. And I can plop down nothing. So I spent too many resources. <laughs> I can plop down more workers in a second. So, uh, one, two, three. This is where it's a bit interesting. I did want to go over here. But I've built this incorrectly. I have fluffed it. It is fluffed, everybody. I'm sorry. I've let you all down. But I could fix it in the future. So. 
I got a plan. This needs to be expanded, and then we can get all the benefits for everything. I put two here. I put one here. Massive expansion. Everyone's happy. For now, though, we'll pop down a new housing district, which will give me 30 more housing, which is quite a dent in the shelter. We also decrease the heat for these two combined, and in the future, if I expand, I also fix this bit as well. Done. Now, if I have the... I haven't really got the resource for this. I would like to have a natural one at the back, because we still have another three slots somewhere. Wait, where is it? No, we don't. Wait, I think I've done it all now. One... No, there should be another three slots somewhere in that canyon. I could put another housing district in, so we'll do that at some point. Okay, we're about to do another vote in a second. Pathfinder scouts are... Crime. <laughs> Great. Locked in. Wait, what's happening? I am confused. This isn't what I wanted to bring in. What is going on? Why is it Ramley voting for this? I didn't want this. I wanted to get this brought in. Is it because I waited too long it's brought in another law? Oh, I've, I've, I've. Damn it. <laughs> well, great. Brilliant. Good stuff. Can I get any freebies from this then? If I've just been shafted. Won't negotiate, won't negotiate. What about you guys? No, no, no. Oh, I can't believe this. Well, good news is we can now go and continue exploring with very low threat. So that is a good thing. But the children are stabbing each other right now. I think the parliament should have better priorities. Hear ye, hear ye. The proposed law has been approved. So, ah, safe. It's all safe now. Uh, pause. I ain't got enough. Can I just get enough Pathfinders to start a Netra expedition? That would be great if I can do that. I can't. Never mind. Okay, keep that going. Just a wait, I guess. We'll wait until things come through. Oh no. It's time. Nels Sinkfield? That's a weird name. Uh, 38 housewife. Worried about her son looking for a culprit. Lily Joe's been copping all night. His forehead's as hot as a generator. It's them turners. I know it's them. They got that new flu, and here they are strolling about the neighborhood, carrying on with their business. They're killing people. That's what they're doing. Oh, please, Lord Almighty, I can't stand to lose another child. Someone's got to get through them. Uh, so this is another time event. I need to push through a contagion law then, I guess, at some point. Fair enough. Um, we will have a look at the options when we can, but right now, not a possibility. What I could possibly do... Let's have a quick look at this again. No. It's all research based. I was going to see if I can make a promise to them to do something specifically, but not working out. Weather adjusted shifts. Disease is slightly increased. Uh, heat demand, oven housing is decreased. Interesting. Past expedition support. Oh, these are. Um... Ooh. That's a good one. I want to do that at some point anyway. I can promise to pass something and I'll, what I was going to do anyway. But I won't for now. I want to make sure we maintain our bribes. If you are, any, if I have trouble trying to pass through the next law, so a quick look. Society, childhood. I can't even see the differences there. I literally don't, just don't know. Oh God! <laughs> I am not looking at that. I refuse. For now, though, we keep saving up. So the reason I'm not doing anything right now is because I'm waiting to get the have a housing set up. If I just do a frostbake though, let me just make sure. 
Pulse break. Yeah, I think these are actually part of the Sable Crevasse. So if we get that sorted out, I could put another housing down there. And then we just unlock more nearby terrain. Get that sorted out. Uh, I also want to get research going, don't I? So is there anything I can do for general efficiency? Or Oh, sawmills. Or factories. We haven't got enough goods being produced. And it increases the amount of materials required. But it's more efficient. Interesting. Or... No, I think it has to be the material one because we need... More, like, we have two fully functioning material things and we haven't got enough materials. We need to get the saw, saw mills going. So we'll go back over here. I'll grab saw mills. Uh, um, untreated or mechanical. We want to go for untreated. Yeah, definitely. Research. Done. Cool. That works out pretty well. Trust is looking pretty high right now, actually. I'm at... Accepted, but we're looking pretty good in terms of people liking us or hating us. Most people like us at the moment, apart from the faith keepers. 88% on the thing out there. I guess at some point we need more factories as well, because we would need to have factories that produce um, prefabs, unfortunately. Because this is only going to be temporary, these two. And once they're out, they're out. We've only got an extra 167... Yeah, it's like an extra 800 prefabs left. And then we're on our own at that point. We had to make our own. We, I have to say, I'll be paused. <laughs> I wasn't certain for a second there. Oh, I, I like I'm going, I'm going through both of these at the same time. Equality and merit. <laughs> Is that the best idea? I don't know. <laughs> Housing. One, two. Oh, it was here. Excellent. That is a built-up canyon. invites all citizens for a free prosthetics consultation every Tuesday at 7 p.m. by the generator. That's not a good sign. <laughs> you have no limbs. Neither do you. Come over here and get one. So I have to say, this is way more... It's like 50% housing efficiency, these guys. Is there another crevasse? It's like... I think that's not a crevasse. That's just a flat out hole into the ocean. Uh, but this bit might be a crevasse. Um, I can't double check it though because of reasons. I'll do it a bit later. Ah! It's done. We can see further into the wastelands. Among debris in a mangled cart, we found an old navigation log. We've wandered forever. We can't wander forever, sir. If we can only get through this canyon, then we can set up a permanent base next to the oil. Ooh. <gasps> Three cores. Very juicy. Old Dread... Is this the one we were doing earlier? Ah, oh, cool. Uh, a ruin machine lies across a crevasse. Wagons spilled into the nearby snow. There is a clear sign that people have come and gone from the site, even storing goods here. But what amazed our scout... The... Wait, are we... are we the oil people? The people who appear in the Plorog? Are we... are we going this way to the oil? <laughs> um, but what amazed our scouts the most... Um, what amazes our scouts the most is the huge quantity of readily available oil. This might finally be able to provide fuel we've been hoping for. We'll be able to build a new colony. Colony, not outpost. Oh my god, what am I doing? Interesting. On the old, on the broken shore lies an old derelict dreadnought. It seems to have been upgraded to run on oil. As it rests be, um, beside rich deposits, perhaps the site was a refueling station. But deep in the black pools lie rows of frozen bodies, wrapped in shrouds and placed in still wells. Our scouts shudder at the sight. What? These oil deposits would surely solve our fuel needs, but we would have to dis, um, desecrate these graves. Interesting. I will respect the dead. No. Oh, this is where it's a conflict of... 
We will remove the body, bodies and bury them. This might have consequences later on. If the if the people we played in the prologue were a faction and they found out we desecrated their graves, it would not be good. Oil will save the city, but we need to adapt our generators to use it. In the meantime, we need to establish a reliable supply. It's time we settle beyond New London. Create a colony at the old dreadnought and connect it with a sol um, solid trail to New London. Curious. Requires trail connection to the city. We need one core. 20 Frostland teams and 100 prefabs. Very cool. I'm loving this game, by the way. <laughs> I'm, it's great. I love it. I love it. Um, this one. Oil systems. Tankers filled with oil hangs in a narrow crevasse. It will be dangerous to extract it. Interesting. So this was the source of oil. Which I've now been using as much as we can. Uh, we need to connect this to the path. Uh, which would be going this way, right? So if I just bing bong bang bing, does that count? I'm not sure. <laughs> we might need more money. But I want to do this as soon as possible uh, to get oil running and going. Uh, does that mean we've unlocked um, technologies now? If we go to heat, it requires oil supply to upgrade the generator. Also, this is very interesting. Requires access to steam. That could be huge. Why would we need to build oil on our sea? Does that mean there's a supply of oil in New London? I mean, that suggests that there is a supply of new oil in New London. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Is this just a better version of the same thing we had before? Oh, it requires cores to use. So that's interesting, to say the least. I should really go through all these technology at some point, but I'm still... <laughs> kind of umming and ahhing about other things. Anyway, so that's good news for us, having those guys miles away. I'm going to build a route, if we can. I think this is another connection to the main city. So we're going to build up from here. One. Two. Wait, why was that so easy? <laughs> I've done it. Okay, so they're working on that. And we have one week and three days until we need the next council meeting. Uh, crime's still a problem, but it's stable. Uh, housing's being constructed still, so that's fixed. We need better sawmills, which is being worked on. It's mostly just the prefabs and the money to actually purchase all these items at this point, so. Do I... I could also start just exploring after this, I can. I could go 20, 20. Yeah, I think we just keep going and just try and find some new lands and locations. This map seems massive. What did I just see there? That was a stag head, was it not? There's stags here. We want to go this way. So this seems there's a, there's a supply of some kind of materials. Materials and coal. And then below that is a mysterious teleporting deer herd, which we can use for long-term food. Cores, good. Coal. Dwellers, prefab. Prefabs. That one first. I think we go for the prefab one next. Looming cold. As the captain's authority weakened, different groups started pulling the city in their own direction. New London grew overpopulated, uh, whiteouts ruined expansion attempts, and coal is finally running out. So without heat and shelter, people will start to freeze to death. Although the captain appointed you before passing, people are anxious that you are not to the task. So apparently tension's high, people are cold, it's not good. But I am literally dealing with that already. It's In fact, it's been dealt with. <laughs> I've done it. Excellent. Society, childhood, family apprenticeships, propose. So, Frostlanders, if you do this, my next one will be durable goods. Excellent. Can I do any more really easy negotiations?
No, I can't. Okay, fair enough. I will vote. Let's pass this through. And this should reduce crime altogether. Maybe give me more trust, because I'm a promise. And generally just make everyone happy. The delegates have spoken. The law take... Look at this. This is great. Of course, things are going well currently, but the thing with um, Frostpunk 1, it's all well and good until you get into whiteout territory. So... We literally have an entire year starting soon where we're stuck in negative 40 temperatures. So it's going to be harder, but I think we're doing a good job so far. And two of the factions are now favorable with me. Not that it does anything with these guys, but still, they're happy. And we... Ooh, oh, we can bring them back into this? Oh, that's how that works. I see. Uh, yeah, so I think things are going pretty well so far. I mean, could things be better? Definitely. But right now, I'm... I'm I think it's going pretty well. Okay, next step. What do you want to do next? I think we need to try and focus on... Zooming out a little bit. Let's get this set up. Send colonists. So this is going to cost me some things, right? So we are going to lose... What did we lose? Sending employed workforce. Districts and buildings in the Saw City will be deactivated. How much people? Where? How much people am I even sending here? I, I, it's not telling me. <laughs> Send the colonists. Three thousand people are leaving. That's a lot of people, and that has immediately caused a problem. Things are turned off. Uh, turn that down. Oh, I have a little bit of a chance to fix it before the game takes it away for me. Okay, so I'll quickly turn off uh, this as well. 98. We're nearly there, though. I mean, honestly, there's a very quick way of fixing this, by the way, um, which I will do very shortly. Um, we have too much housing, too much food. Let's drop off the food a little bit. Done. So the easy way of fixing this is bringing in the fellas from over here. They just come right back. We haven't got any Frostland teams though, so what I could do temporarily, because we have some excess food, I'm going to do it very quickly. I'll pause you, bring people in, and we'll reactivate it. I love making new colonies. This is epic. Wait, we're actually, oh, we have the Game of Thrones map. I'm going to have like different kingdoms. Uh, this I'm clearly House Stark right now. The other guys can just be whatever. I don't really care. I'm House Stark. Okay. Done. Activate. Cool. So are we at the point of the game? Well, I think we might want to etch out an extra research lab because it will speed things up a lot and I think it will make us more powerful over time. So I'm actually going to... Expand it. Oh. How though? Yes. We're expanding at the bottom one. We're moving into that location here to give the bonus when it's activated to heat reduction. And it should also give me a bonus to me, I think. No, it's fine, but we're avoiding it. It's the extract district squalor thing. So get that upgraded. Nice. As there's absolutely no benefit whatsoever from having Frostlanders happy with me, do I want to grab some more money off them? I can in five weeks. Okay, we'll do it a bit later. These guys I want to keep happy because they give me a bonus. Um, I guess that's it. We'll just leave it be for now. Good news is, in a second that's about to run out, so we can switch over the factory in five days. So this one's got the full shebang going instead. Done. Delete. Thank you. Excellent. This will mean this factory is less efficient though, right? Because we've just lost the building giving it a buff. But I guess it is what it is. Uh, not very much I can do about it at this point. increase the food again. I've got a lot of workers again just standing around. 
Do we want to go and get the last expedition point? I think it might be worth it, actually. Because then we can just do, like, really fast exploration and just go around the map like crazy. Let's move towards it. Oh, I run away! No! Two million iron ore there, by the way. That's mad. Uh, let's just move a little bit towards that for next time, then. Done. Am I really lacking that many materials? That's surprising. I wonder if I have... We're we'll trying a second. If I get more heat stamps, I'll see if I can have a second factory next to that one. And that might allow us to be in a situation where we have the bonus back again. The other option would be to build a factory next to these two coal mines, which I'm not currently using, but I can have them both on like one pip or something. And then we can have like a bit of a double bonus there. Don't shield your apprentice from the dangerous aspects of your job. This <laughs> is how they learn. <laughs> Jump into the steam, young one. You will be blessed by the steam. Luckily, I'm not a uh, mentor to anybody right now. Well, that would be a disaster. So that's still looking pretty good over there. doing it's like i don't know i keep parroting what they say it's really random uh mm. oh okay so i can make a super district thingy over here or i could make one over here oh this one's cheaper i could do this one right away and we haven't got to worry about the other aspects. So I was wondering if I can get that one there as well, but it's a bit too far away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... No, it's not going to work. It has to be this way. Do, 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 do. Cool. That's a big happy family right there. I'm aware that I'm also upgrading um, getting technology to make them better. Or at least I was. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Sorry, I was doing that later. We will get this soon. But at some point in the game, we need to have factories making prefab. So having them together makes sense anyway. Okay, two more weeks on that one. Increase workers. Let's see if we can maybe move towards this a bit faster. So let's do another frost break. Done. And also, to confirm, there is another stable crevasse over here. So we have... Ooh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I, I'm not sure. Maybe there's six or nine there. I, I can't tell from distance. I have to keep some money in reserve because we need to spend another £50 soon to set up another research in the future. Is it time? <laughs> I got some time left. I'll wait a little bit longer before I get a negative event. Oh, that's cool. I like this. Oh, is that going towards my outposts? It's pretty awesome. Steward. Oh, no. It's the second version of the you need to have a sick rule. Uh, sick neighborhoods. Steward, this morning a house has been found walled off from the rest of the neighborhood. The inhabitants escaped after a while, but they found that the local shops and amenities refused to service them. I don't know who did it, but it's for the best, I tell you. Them people got all sorts of bugs, I say. The place is healthy without them, claimed the local pub owner. Uh, the latest spread of influenza has indeed hit districts hard, and people are on the edge. Maybe we ought to define some common rules. I agree. And I have 30 weeks. So as long as the next vote goes well, we can bring this in next and we can have some kind of common quarantine law. So it looks like currently from a surface thing, we have as uh, quarantine disease is significantly decreased, but there is less shelter as more shelter bond per capita. The other one would be increased tension. And we have oh that's so stupid. So I'm just reading what it says. Infectious badge. Contagious people will be required to wear a special badge 
that allows others to limit their interaction with them. But this is a very interesting uh, quandary, isn't it? I mean, I find it very interesting because well, I'm a nerd. But like, for instance, when I used to, um, my mum used to make, always make me go to school if I was sick, make me go, like, be annoyed if I didn't go to work if I was um, sick as well. But then you go to a building, you go in there, like I used to work a place with like four, five hundred people in there. Uh, one person came back from a job abroad. They brought some crazy like flu. Next week, only four people left in the building. Everyone's off sick. Is quarantine the better option in the long run? If people quarantine often and they were sick, like of their own accord, of course, you probably wouldn't have that many illnesses going around, I would say. But like if you force people into quarantine, that is a big restriction on human rights. Regardless, uh, I think we need to find the citywide consensus. So we do that next. Yeah, it's awkward because like with like especially in real life and this game, especially because of what it brings up in people talking about it. There are so many things that make sense from different angles, but is it truly the right thing to do? But then what you think is the right thing to do may be different to someone else. It's, I find these games fascinating because they bring in so many different thoughts of how you should do things. Okay. Um, what are we on? Contagion Law. Common Goods. That's the one I promised, so I'll do that one now. Durable Goods. Demand Reduction. Negotiate. Uh, they want it. They want it. Mostly against. Can I bring anything easy for these dudes? Not really. No. I could just vote and hope it passes, but it, it's such a that is a coin flip. That is a complete and utter coin flip right there. It's a shame because this is the active promise I'm doing for them. <laughs> so. Machine centric shifts. Research and hold vote. That is a massive time sink. Blast foundry. Machine output. Because there is nothing stopping me from researching this and just not using it. Let's be honest here. I could just research it and never use it. And it would get me the laws passed, which I think is more significant at this point in the game. So we're going to go for it. We'll go for Blast Foundry. I don't know, what's the one that I would probably use the most? It has to be this one. It's that one. Blast Foundry. I'm not going to use it, by the way, but I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, accept. Vote. So how much is this going to reduce it by like 10 10 percent maybe 20 percent okay they are super happy supporting relationship even higher than favorable they're supporting interesting so now i have to research the blast foundry i will keep my word and i'll do this right away so oh i should have double checked oh no where's blast foundry Oh no. I didn't realize. I thought I could research both of them over time, but it won't. Oh, you can do both of them. Wait, how does this work? So, if I research this, does it remove the other one? Ready to discover in the future. I'm not, honestly not sure. Um, fair enough. Can we make coal out of burning materials? Oh, we can. Okay. Uh, we are doing, everybody. We're dedicating ourselves to what I promised. We need to research this, but it costs 28 weeks. What? No. I didn't realize it was going to take so long. I wouldn't have done it. I thought it was going to be a regular tech. Okay. We need 100 pounds, which we will get soon. And then I can do the rest of it as well. What a pain. I didn't realise it was a like, tier 2 research. I probably wouldn't have agreed to it. Ah. Oh, damn it. Stupid. Sorry, I can't stop doing that. <laughs> damn it, me. Good news is the factory's ready. I had to do it soon as well. The game's going to just kick me out. We have plus good income. Excellent. 
And also, don't forget everybody, we now have the ability, if we have the heat stamps, to actually produce sawmills as well, increasing the output of these existing buildings as well. Things are looking great right now, apart from the a lot of money being spent. But still, things are looking pretty good. Uh, pause, research, foundries, blast furnace, go. Hopefully I can research everyone later on. That's out of the way. Uh, how long was it going to take? We have enough time. We're, we're, we're firmly in there. So next one has to be contagion prevention law. Can we be sneaky and get a promise to somebody to bring in what we're going to do anyway? So I looked at this before. I What do we pick? What do we pick? I think anything that increases tension is a no-go. Housing, I can just put more down anywhere. And also with the efficiency of those really good houses I'm putting down, they're quite cheap. I think we go for supported quarantine for people that are sick. Um, I think this makes the most sense. And it actually has a significant reduction in disease. Now, up to this point as well, I would make you bear in mind that nearly everything I've been picking has been increasing disease slowly. With all the bio waste houses and all like the far it's been increasing the disease risk. So having anything that counteracts that is perfect. So I think we're looking pretty good. Now unfortunately I should probably increase some of these but I'll turn these buildings on so we can get people working on them, but uh, because we do have some income for coal and stuff, I'm actually going to turn this off temporarily. And I'm going to go and make these guys grab all these random, or at least that item over there. It shouldn't take this too long, I don't think. Because coal's pretty good anyway. We, we're pretty... Oh, actually, I should have said that. We're about to go into a cold season for a whole year. <laughs> it's temporary. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That's very close to being finished. Very cool. Let's increase the food up. Let's get more resources. It's a massive shame I can't afford the damn sawmill right now. So I would do that right away if I could. 80 timestamps. I just don't... I want to keep these guys happy with me. Because I want to see if you get random events where they might give you stuff. Does it say that in supporting? And direct actions. Positive relations typically indicate great support for your actions, which can manifest in various ways, such as rallies in your favor. Yeah, I think it's important to keep these people happy. I do not want to take money off them. I'm leaving them be. I got good income right now with heat stamps. I think we just leave that be. And we just hopefully get benefit from them liking me later on in the game. Wait, does that mean some of these events might actually be positive? Oil. Have we done it? Wait. Am I? Wait. Oh! Oh! <gasps> I have to have a second colony and do both at the same time? Okay. And we're sharing the income right between the two separate... No, it's a separate income. I think. Wait, 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 wait. They happen to both be identical right now. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> hmm. Very, very interesting. I thought I was going to... Okay. So this generator runs off oil. We already know this because we had the oil from before, right? So, um... Requirements, 5,000 stockpile. So we got an extra 10,000 oil from this map. So oil is literally limited in this sense because there is actually only so much here. Um, if I go to Frost, so we have prefabs, which could help our main base. Are we back to using those really tiny versions? Nope, we're using districts. Okay. So we have oil here, 4.4 million. 
Oh, it's very different than before though, isn't it? 4.4 million, there's three oils around, 4.4 million again, and 4.4 million. There's a lot of prefabs. So this is actually pretty handy, because it means we get three supplies of just flat out getting prefabs, which is great for our future colony growth on both counts. Um, not sure how to deal with food. That's quite interesting. I'm not sure how that one's going to function. But there's no capacity or bar to increase supply here. So this is locked in stone. This is the colony size. That's what we're going to get with it. Okay, so can we do anything we want here? Can I put down... Well, not food. There's no food nearby. But I can put down, for instance, industrial districts and do that kind of thing, right? Interesting. I can also maybe use this place for storage. I can increase material stockpiles here. Cool. Okay, I'm going to have to do some thinking then about this and uh, we'll start cracking on with it when we can. Uh, other things I want to try and get sorted out. It, they do need a factory right away. So I think we start with a factory first. So we get maximum heat income from two different sources. What does this actually produce? Can I see? District. It makes 10 heat, 72 food, and 30 um, just... Well, shelter. And 30 shelter. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for this very first mega episode. I will say that I'm absolutely loving this game. I've actually already recorded the second mega episode, so I haven't entered it yet. So I do apologize about the lack of speed, I guess, of releasing these. But I guess they are three or four hour episodes, so it kind of makes up for it in a way. Uh, now, I don't know how long this, gonna, this game's going to take. I did look it up, and apparently it takes like a... Um, oh, what was it? I think they said around 6 to 12 hours on the easiest setting. But I think we're doing pretty damn well anyway. And I feel like it will probably take a bit longer because we're on captain mode. But I might be wrong there. Regardless, I'll try and record it and finish it as soon as I can. And then I'll put it into editing and just see how I want to release it as we go forward here. There's also another game coming out. Actually, it's already come out today on the 25th, uh, which is a shooter game, like an attraction shooter. I don't normally play those, but I really want to play that as well. So I might release like more than one video a day just to see how that does, because I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's called Forever Winter, and we go from there. But regardless of that, everybody, I hope that everyone has enjoyed this video. This game is brilliant. I, I can see why people are a bit upset in a way, because it is very different than Frostpunk 1. But as someone that's favorite game type is Grand Strategy, or like stuff like um, European Universalis, uh, big games like, uh, well, just Paradox games, really. <laughs> I like big strategy games. This is actually more my kind of thing than Frostpunk 1 was. But if you were like a dedicated city builder, I can see why you'll be like, oh, there's too much big stuff going on. I want to I have my individual houses being built. So I understand the uh, controversy of this uh, sequel. But for that, everybody, thank you for watching. As always, peace out, Sky and Carbolo, and I will see you next time. Bye.